It's time for the parade in Pasadena. Tradition meets college football action in one epic bowl game. And with DraftKings Sportsbook, you can make every play count. New customers can score 150 instantly in bonus bets just for betting $5 on college football. Download the app now. Use code SHANNON. New customers can score 150 instantly in bonus bets for just betting 5 bucks on college football. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code SHANNON. The crown is yours. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us again for another episode of Nightcap. I'm your favorite sports unk, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85. Yes, sir. Cincinnati Bingo legend, route runner extraordinaire, extraordinaire Chad Ocho Cinco yes, sir. Johnson. We are Ocho, we've pat we're at 567,000 subscribers. <laughs> Golly. Yeah, 567. Please make sure you like, make sure you um subscribe. Uh, click that like, kick that like button and subscribe button. And you can get the feed through our Nightcast podcast. We see some of you guys are still getting it through the Club Shay Shay podcast. That's okay. But you can also get it through the club, uh, uh, the Nightcap feed. So just make sure you do us a favor and subscribe to Please. Nightcap. We've also pinned the link, Shay by Laportier, at the top of the chat. Go out and get yourself, yourself a bottle or someone you love. Valentine's Day, New Year's. President's Day, St. Patrick's Day, you know, it's the only brown that won't leave you on the wow. ground. So go ahead and get your I yeah, like yeah, that. yo, I like, that. Like, nice I like, I like that. Nice and fact, smooth. Nice and smooth. You know what? You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? What you I gonna ain't do? never had no alcohol before. Never in my life. I never had no alcohol before. But I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna record myself trying some of your drink. Now it might sting my throat. Let's get a million. Let it gotta be special. We gotta get a million subs. Let us get a million, and we go. We, we go. Take, we, we gonna take one on the show live. You take what take what live Lord, on God the show. forgive me. God forgive me. I'm 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 a drink though for the first time. I got you. I got yeah, you. Yeah, man. That's 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 all right, Ocho. That's all right. Uh I want to give some the people some good news. Uh Nightcap, um, with me and my with Go Ocho with uh, Ocho and I, we're the number two sports podcast on all of Apple. The number two sports podcast on all of Apple. Huh? And Spotify. So we're the oh, number Ooh, Nightcap woo. with Unk and Ocho. We're the number number two sports podcast on Apple and Spotify. Let's go. Nightcap with Unk with uh Unk and Gil. We're the number one basketball podcast mm. on Apple. So mm. thank you, Gil. We really appreciate that. You coming in. Um, big things to come in 2024. Ocho, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of what we've been able to accomplish thus yeah. far. It mm. hasn't been that long. But mm. we get better and better. We entertain better. the people. Yeah. We inform mm -hmm. the people. We edu we educate the people. Mm -hmm. So thank you because none of this is possible mm -hmm. without you guys. Whether yeah. you subscribe, whether you download, whether you watch us, all the support mm -hmm. that you've given us over the first four months of a uh, nightcap yeah. is greatly, greatly appreciated. And we want to thank you because without you, there is no nightcap, Unc and Ocho, mm -hmm. or no nightcap, yeah. uh, Unc and Gil. So yeah. thank you again. Ocho, let's jump right into the ball game. The Browns beat the Jets 30 mm. to 20. Man, I thought Ocho, I, I thought uh, uh Njoku would go get my record. He had four catches for a buck 13 in the first yeah. quarter. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh man, oh man, he got me. He got me. And uh he cooled down substantially. He ended the game with uh six receptions, 134 yards on eight targets. Uh, but he had an outstanding game going, and yeah. Joe Flacco had it going again. Mm -hmm. uh, what did he finish with? 19 to 29, 309, 309, three touchdowns, one interception. Yeah. Considering, I mean, he he cooled off substantially in the second half. He had 296 at the half. So he mm -hmm. only had 30, he only had 13 yards in the yeah. second half. Second half. But they didn't need a whole lot. They ran the football, right. but it was a turnover. I think Ford fumbled. I think another guy got it punched out. Mm -hmm. So give uh, uh give the Jets credit, but what the Jets have going on, Ocho, if yeah. they think Aaron Rodgers is going to solve, solve all the ills with mm. what's going on with that team, mm. they're fooling themselves, mm. and they're setting At him up for failure. 
for you. A absolutely not. Listen, I've always said that you and I, we've gone back and forth about mm -hmm. Zach Wilson being at the helm and really not being able to do anything. And a lot of the, the chirping and a lot of the noise on the outside feels that if Aaron Rodgers was to come back, all of a sudden he would be the savior. If you understand tonight, if you look at Trevor Simeon behind center, he had 1.9 seconds to throw the ball. Yeah. 1.9 seconds. That's not enough time to do anything. That's not even enough time to By have By the time you catch it and step, take a step back, Ocho. Somebody's already in your face. So there's really nothing you can do. There are many woes and many problems that need to be addressed in the offseason before Aaron Rodgers even thinks about stepping behind center. But again, on the other flip side of things, I want to talk about the Browns. The Browns yes. obviously in playoff contention, making the playoff for the first time since 2020. But I don't like the fact that, I don't know, please help me understand, and you know this too, as well as me, as long as we played the game. Why do games like this, Joe Flacco is having the game of his life. Obviously, another 300-yard game. Almost. Wait, he finished with, yeah, he finished he with 309. 309. He had 296 he had, at the half. Yeah, two, yeah 296, two-something, whatever it was at the half. But then we get into the second half, and all of a sudden, Stefanski and whoever else is calling the plays, they step off the gas yeah. all the way. Yeah. All the way off the ground. If Chief, I call, I call him Chief. If Cheek and Joko had had a first half like that, why not continue? Mm -hmm. Why not continue that momentum? Why not continue what they were doing in the first half in the second half? Right. And have that carry over into the next game and then into the playoffs. That is great momentum for your team. That is great confidence for your team, especially from an offensive standpoint with a quarterback that's only been there for five weeks. Yeah, why I, come off the gas? I don't understand why team do that. It makes well, no sense. It doesn't, Ocho, but you know the thing is, is that, look, they got a decent running game. It's not what it would be had they had Nick Chubb. And yeah. Ford can run the football, but I think yeah. the thing is, is that it's easy to say we should have stepped on it, but it cost the Falcons the Super Bowl. Remember? When they should have been running the ball, they still right. full speed ahead, and guess what happened? Incomplete, incomplete. Patriots get yeah. the ball, right, right, have right. a turnover, they get the ball right. again, and the next mm -hmm. thing you know, had you just run the football, you could have just run the football three or four right. series, and there wouldn't have been enough time. But because you kept stopping the clock, and you turn the ball over on a short field, now right. you give a team an opportunity to get back in the ball game. So I understand, and even though selfishly, I would have liked to see Njoku see what type of game he could have had, had they yeah. kept going. I understand Stefanski and his rationale and thinking because you know what we're going to say. You let that team come back after you done had them down like that and you right. getting reckless with the ball, throwing mm -hmm. it all over the place. When you right. got forward, you have Kareem Hunt. People going to look at you like, what did you do? You just cost your team a playoff spot. Yeah, but you have to think about this. Huh? You have to think about how they plan defensively. If you only got 1.9 seconds to even throw the ball, they were running the ball decent, really not, not really effective enough to even come back in this game. Why not continue to pour it on and pour it on? Dude, what that does for your team confidence and that team offensively, mentally, to go on and win a game like that, even if it is the New York Jets, that carries on to the next game. And Thank what happens when it carries on to the next game, it carries right on over into the playoffs. How did the Jets get their touchdown? Flacco threw a pick, ran it back. How did he get, yeah, get through, them field goals? Well, well that, that, was un, that was unfortunate, though. The dude <laughs> tipped the ball. He was trying to throw it to the flat. Think okay, about right. He should have threw it in the ground. He should have threw that in the ground. Remember how? In the ground. Hey, think about this. Remember what happened Monday night? How many of those balls got tipped that Brock Purdy got picked? Okay, three you're right. <laughs> all, all three of them. Yeah, three hey, yeah all three of them. He had four. Yeah, the right. first one in the end zone was clean. Right. All the rest okay. of them got popped up in the air. And right. you, okay, okay. Okay, and I'm with you. I'm with you. It's no, it snowballs on you. I get yes, what sir. Stefanski is saying. And like I said, mm -hmm. selfishly, you and I, we see it got, got uh, uh, Joe Flacco has. 296 at the half, and you mm -hmm. say, well, we step on the game. I mean, we keep the pedal to the metal. What mm -hmm. could it have been? But right. then on the flip About side. 58. 58. <laughs> at, the rate, at the rate they was going. Like, yeah. it, didn't even look, it didn't even look like the Browns. Just in general, when I think about the Browns offense and what I saw tonight in that first half, I'm like, who in the hell are they? Who the fool the fuck? With the Noah Mark Cooper. With, With no Mark. Cooper. And they, they didn't miss a beat. They nope. didn't miss a beat. I mean, he had long – Joe Flacco and Joku had a longer 43. Elijah Moore had a longer 20, uh, uh, 24. Uh, Ford had a longer 50. Atkins uh, had a longer 28. So, I mean, there were deep shots. And we know Joe Flacco has a big-time arm. Oh, yeah. Uh, and the one that he threw to Ford for the 50-yarder, he's mm -hmm. rolling to his left, and he mm -hmm. sidearm it. And we, uh, sidearm it. 
side arms it. And we know Joe Flacco isn't known for his mobility. So no, for no. him to get out of harm's way, mm -hmm. change arm angles and arm get the angle, ball to yeah. Ford and let Ford do the rest. It just shows that this offense is really, really good. The defense mm -hmm. was hunting tonight. But, I mean, what am I supposed to say? Ocho, I think you and I could have got a sack or at least a hit on the quarterback <laughs> against that offensive line. With the offensive line? Yeah, that have, offensive line, good and it, terrible. It, it's tough. Do, do you think – You think? I, I hate to say this, and I'm, I'm not going to say it because I know what it's like being on a losing team. You think they're giving up? No, nah, they're not. They're just bad. I mean, the offensive line, as big as they are, I looked at Makai Becton. Yes, sir. Bruh, he he's, a, he's, he's, a, he's their he's their best player. He's their best offensive lineman. But I didn't say him much. The left tackle. He, he's he's given up lineman. eleven sacks, most in the NFL. Second most penalty yards. Second most penalties called against. Mm. I mean, the dude can't block the sun out of his eyes, and he's six seven, <laughs> three hundred and fifty pounds. Come on, huh? man! Can't come run. on, man! He can't block the sun out of his eyes. You should. <laughs> ain't no way you should be that big and that bad. And I get that's Miles Garrett, but at some point right. in time, Miles Garrett ain't just finna keep beating on me. I'm going right. to win some of these battles. Right. I ain't say you got to win them all because right. Miles Gary is, is one of the top players in the league. And yeah, he's played he and he's paid a premium. But mm -hmm. at some point in time, damn, son. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know mean, I know what you mean. But again, that is Miles Garrett. I mean, there, there are certain players when it comes to it, if you, if you beat consistently throughout the game, it's because you're playing against a premium player like a Miles Garrett, a TJ Watt, or um, – who else? One of the one of the Bosa brothers. I don't Something care like if that. it's Miles Garrett, Micah Parsons, TJ Watt, and whoever Micah Parsons. else rolled up in the run. One, you right. not been to beat me every single play. I mean, at some point in time, Ocho, pride got to kick in, yeah. regardless of who you lined up against. But listen, even think about this. Think about as prideful as he he may be, as prideful as he wants to be. There's a skill set gap. No matter what you do in that game. That person across from you will always be better, better than you. Yes, no matter what. But you got to win one. Yeah, <laughs> you got to win one. Ocho, my brother was three years older than me. We fought yes, all the sir. time. I got yeah. me a couple of licks in. I got me a couple of. Hey, listen, you got your couple of licks, but did you win? No, but here's the thing. That's all I'm saying. You might right. not win, but you got to stop him on a few plays. Okay, you're right. You're right. You're right. I, I like I like the pride time. I like the pride thing because you are playing. If you're not playing for the Jets, you are playing for the name on the back of that goddamn jersey, and you got to step up. Because I I had a uh, uh, had a college coach said that when he go, when you go out he was, and he told him Bill Davis, my college coach at Savannah State, he yes, said, do not recruit offensive linemen. He said, I don't ever want y'all to go recruit any offensive linemen. He says, I want all defensive linemen. He said that we get defensive linemen and yeah. they can't play defense. We can move them to offensive line and they can play offense. He said, because if you get an offensive lineman and he can't play, you got a big ass equipment manager on your hand. Oh, that's a good one. I like that. That's what you got, Ocho. Because like where can you move him? Tell me where you can move an offensive lineman. He can't you, play you can, defense you, you because he doesn't have the mentality. Mentality, yeah. But then obviously there's a certain mentality that you have you have to have to play offensive line as well. Especially that's why the you have a defensive guy, guy you move him over there. Yeah, especially the blind side. Now, yes. listen, that's the most important position on the offensive yes. line. The blind side to the quarterback, unless you're left-handed, that's your money. That's your money man. Yes, that's your yes. chess piece. Mm -hmm. The most important chess piece. So you 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 got to be able to play. You know, if you're at that left tackle position, you got to be nimble. You got to be agile. You got to be able. To, I mean, you got to be able to foot, dance on there. Hey, your footwork, man. Your yeah. footwork got to be special. Because you got to be able to kick. You got to be able to kick and anchor down, now. That's why they're putting them boy dogs on the open side. That's why you have those guys over there. Right, right. That's right, why you right. see the Miles Garrett's over there. That's right. what the, uh, the the open side where well, you saw mm -hmm. the Derek Thomas LT mainly lined up on that side, but it right. didn't matter where LT lined up. This mm -hmm. is why you know LT is the the greatest defensive player because right. Joe Gibbs put an offense in just for mm -hmm. him. The it's H back position was created. Yeah. The extra tight end was created for Lawrence right. Taylor. Okay, and everybody in the NFC every. He made the he made two positions famous, the left tackle and the edge linebacker. Because everybody went and got him. If right. you couldn't block LT, you couldn't beat the mm -hmm. Giants. <laughs> so Minnesota, they went and got the Gary Zimmerman. And, right. and, 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 and 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 the 49ers went and got Steve Wallace. And you mm -hmm. go look at the teams that yeah. tried that, that went and got somebody, especially to deal with 56. The, the block LT and, and it, 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 nobody succeeded. No. No. No, I mean the uh, the, the uh, Washington. You know what they were called? They're the Commanders now. But right, they right, they right. got uh, Joe Jacoby. They went mm -hmm. and got they traded for Jim Lachey. 
I mm-hmm. mean, talking about two. And Jacoby, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think he's on the Hall of Fame ballot this year or he went in last right. year, but I think he's on the ballot this year. Uh, but you look at the teams in the NFC that went and got drafted or traded for premium mm-hmm. left tackles because, hey, I think Jimbo Covert, right. the Bears, because, I mean, you, you, you had to. You didn't know, there was no way around it. You had to deal right. with him. Right, right, right. And he wasn't a guy. And the thing is, you know, he's going to be on the edge. The difference between he and Reggie, Reggie, I mean, Reggie's turning the handle. He turned the handle on your center, on mm. your guard, on your mm. tackle. And he just did like one of these open. And then That's when crazy. he found out it was open, he going to wear him out all day. Mm-hmm. So, but That's yeah, crazy. Ocho, at some point in time, you have to have a situation mm-hmm. where the pride kicks in and says, I mm-hmm. understand he's a far superior athlete than me. Right. But I can't let this man beat me. I mean, there's right. 80,000 fans watching, and there's mm-hmm. another 10 million at home watching. Yeah. And this man beat me every single play? Yeah. Matter every of fact, play. listen, I don't, I don't play the left tackle position. I don't I don't know much about the left tackle position or playing offensive line at all. But when I think about it, if I can't beat him physically, if I can't beat him at his own game, then I got to beat him up here. Mm-hmm. If I can't beat him physically, you got to beat him up here. I I don't I don't I don't know I don't really know how to explain what you can do at that position, but try to be two steps ahead, two steps ahead of him. Be try perfect. to envision what he might do. Try to beat him to the punch. If it's if it's cheating a little bit, if it's getting at your if it's getting at your kick, getting at your off the off the ball a little a little faster, kicking to a certain point, stabbing him, g- grabbing him, holding him, I, <laughs> any goddamn thing, just do something. Um, because that, having 1.9 seconds to throw the ball in an NFL game where you're supposed to be one of the best in the world is unacceptable. It it's is. unacceptable. Mm-hmm. And guess who gets who guess who gets the blame? The goddamn quarterback. Yeah. I me personally, I think I don't think he's athletic enough, his feet are quick enough to play that position. He's probably better suited for a guard or a right tackle. He, he seems to me a more of a run guy. Because on that open side, that's where your premium athletes, that's where your Trent Williams reside. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's where your big dogs, that's where your Jonathan Ogden's and your Orlando mm-hmm. Paces and your Anthony mm-hmm. Munozes. That's yeah. where those guys resided. And so you see mammoth of men that would slide. Uh, J.O. Uh, uh, was a shot putter. Mm-hmm. So you know he had feet to be able to rotate. And, and yeah. he was a uh, he was a glide thrower. Mm-hmm. So he didn't, he didn't spin like we see the big guys now, like Ryan right. Krauser and all those guys. He was a glide thrower. But... Mm. I, I just I, I they 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 need to hold that that offensive line isn't very good and I don't believe Aaron Rodgers even as great as he is mm-hmm. I don't believe he can come in and instantaneously make them a contending football team that's just that, me personally somebody yeah. else might see it totally different but I just don't yeah. see that I mean I'm I'm not I I mean what's gonna happen I mean Aaron Rodgers comes back next year yes. and magically everybody's just gonna be playing that much better all of a sudden out the blue that's really not the way that really not the way things work obviously he played four plays at the beginning of the season he got hurt because why he was running for his life right he was he was running he was running for his life but anyway back to the Browns again I just I just they had look good the, yeah they look real good it, it pains me to say this this is Cleveland's second playoff appearance in the last 21 years first team to make the playoff with a four quarterback carousel Watson PJ Walker Thompson Robinson and Flacco. So Kevin Kevin Stefanski, this is his second playoff appearance in four seasons. Do you think he should be up for a candidate for coach of the year? Absolutely, absolutely, I absolutely think he should be up for coach of the year. Mm-hmm. Um, right. I think D'Amico Ryan should be in that running, considering yes. he's doing this with a rookie yes. quarterback. I think Mike McDaniel, what he's doing at Atlanta, excuse mm-hmm. me, Miami. I Miami, think yeah. he should be in consideration, mm-hmm. but. For me, if Houston makes the playoff right. with a rookie head coach and a rookie yeah. quarterback, rookie. oh, you yeah. got to give it. You get. You got to give it to Miko. Yeah, right. absolutely, absolutely. Stan Cloudy asked a question. Ocho says we got to talk about why Flacco is moving the offense better than Watson. Well, wait. I have a question before you even answer. Before you say anything, I want people to remember. Let's remember when Watson played, the Browns were five and one. Mm-hmm. The Browns were five and one. They were winning games, but offensively. Statistically, it doesn't look like it does with Flacco at the helm. And that's the question that he asked. He says, right. we need to ask the question, why are the op- why does the offense look like this with Flacco you know, and not funny. with Watson? You know what's crazy? Remember, that, what's the first thing I asked you on last week's show? Mm-hmm. Why does it look like this? I I, I, I don't understand. Um, are, they called, are the plays different? I mean, it, the, the plays can't be that much different. He had no. Mark Cooper. He had Elijah Rogers, And Joke Chief Njoko was there. 
Mm-hmm. So I'm, I, 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 I can't answer it. I've been watching the games. I watched the games when, when Deshaun was playing. I'm not sure what happened. It can't be. It can't be because Flacco is higher. Deshaun's a little bit more mobile. Mm-hmm. Uh, the arm strength, I wouldn't say is as strong as Flacco, but he he has an arm. He, he has, has a, yeah, he has way above average arm. Way above, yeah, average. way way above average. Yeah. it's not like like you said, it's not Flacco's, but it's yeah. it's good enough. Yeah, plenty it's, good it's enough. Good, it's good enough. So I'm 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 trying to understand what the difference is. Are 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 the are the plays a little bit different because Flacco is in, but most in the bulk of the the bulk of the offense would be at Deshaun's what Deshaun Watson's service. So yeah. why does the offense look different with Flacco at the helm? I asked you because I couldn't answer it and I watched all the games. If you look at if you look at the West Coast system, and that's the system that I spent the bulk of my career, and I think it's probably the system that helped me the most make it into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. It's a heavy play action. Mm-hmm. So the ability to run the football, and you look at the teams that that's that's West Coast, you look at um Miami. You look at the 49ers, you look at the Chiefs, and even though we don't think the Chiefs as a running team, they run, they like to play, they like to play action. If you look at Flacco, when they play action, he's looking to throw the ball down the field. Mm-hmm. He's looking to get the ball down the field. If you look at the throws that he hit in Joku on the night, the deep mm-hmm. over routes, you look at yeah. the play that he hit to Rodgers, he's, he's throwing it down the field now. Mm-hmm. And sometimes maybe 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 Deshaun is, is, is a bit more cautious don't want to turn the ball over, right. but that's not Joe Flacco's mentality. Joe Flacco's mentality is to rip it. He's gonna throw the ball down the field. He's gonna push the ball down the field. He's gonna push the envelope. You know what? That's a, you know that's a good thing. Now that you said that, do you think Flacco is is more inclined to just play freely because he didn't yeah. have the weight of the contract yeah. over his shoulder, or mm-hmm. Deshaun being a little bit more cautious because of the contract and knowing that I really can't play as free as I'd like to because as yeah. soon as I make mistakes, the first thing they bring right. up is. The money they paying me. Right. They're not gonna blame because Flacco say, What's the worst thing y'all could do? Send me back to my couch. Hell, I just right. got here. Right. So, right okay, right, so right. why go back to daddy duties and pick it right. up and take drop it off my kids? It's my uh-huh. five kids at school. Deshaun, <laughs> he, he he listen, he hears everything that we're saying. There right. are murmurs in Cleveland. Mm-hmm. The fans that in the stands and on the right. radio stations, they're saying the same conversation that you and I are having right now. Mary right. Kay Cabot and all those people in Cleveland are having those same conversations. Why does the offense look so different with Joe Flacco, a guy that was calling teams, asking for roster spot? Can I come in? Let me throw for you. Let me do this. And everybody right. told him no. So why? how does a guy get off his couch in five weeks look better than a guy that's been there throughout the entirety? Yeah. You know what the funny thing is? I think I think Watson can do it. And I think what I just said is mm-hmm. might be the issue. Playing cautious, not playing free, wanting to play mistake free football instead of pinning your ears back and letting that motherfucker fly. Yeah. And I think when he does have the opportunity to come back, because he will be back. And what we've seen from Amari, what we've seen from Elijah Moore, what we've seen from Jerome Ford, what we've seen from Kareem Hunt, they can get the job done. And that West Coast o- offense should pick up right where it left off once Deshaun is back healthy and ready to rock. Yeah. He's going to have to. He's going to have to, Ocho, because the guy we're about to talk about. Denver Broncos is benching his two hundred and forty-two million dollar co- contract. The That's franchise, bullshit. Be- the contract, the bullshit, franchise huh? bet big on the blockbuster trade. Let me finish. Uh, Russ is expected to be cut by the Broncos in March for almost two months. He's been knowing the organization was most likely going to move on for him after the season. Bullshit. Bunch of bullshit. Listen, a, a, a lot of people in the chat, those 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 that are that are listening, those that are watching, I know. There have been a lot of gripes about Russell Wilson. I even talked about it's I'm, it's surprising to see that the maturation of the relationship between him and Sean Payton have been doing well. Uh, he scrutinized a lot. Everything is magnified, obviously, because of the co- contract reasons. Um, Wilson's number this year, 26 TD passes. He ranks sixth in the NFL, only behind Dak Prescott and Brock Purdy. Um, let me see. Obviously, Jared Goff, Josh Allen, blah, 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 whatever. He's 33. This season, this season alone, I think he's ahead of him and Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes and, and Wilson's numbers are identical. Mm-hmm. They, they're identical. So I'm trying to understand the move by the Broncos is simply a money move. It's simply a money move. It's a business move on trying not to pay. Is it $39 million? 
No, he's next, already guaranteed thirty nine million. He got, he, got, he guaranteed he's guaranteed thirty nine next season. But another right. thirty the thirty seven if he got hurt and couldn't pass right. the physical by physical. March twenty twenty five is guaranteed at thirty seven. Guaranteed million. is what, right, 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 right. Just I mean it, it, it's a money move I think for him if he was playing well I think would there be any way they can come to him and try to restructure? There would be no way to restructure, right? No, I mean he would have to, and that's what Ocho. This is why I tell players, why are y'all taking pay cuts? Why are y'all giving team discounts? You right. see what they do to you? Yeah. You see what they do to you? Yeah. But, oh, take a – and then what the – and see, the NFL owners have done a great job because mm -hmm. they're, the they're the only group of people that mm -hmm. can convince the, the common folk yeah, that the millionaire, oh, yeah. the millionaires yeah. – are more mm -hmm. selfish than the billionaires, and yeah. what they and what they frame it as: if mm -hmm. I if a millionaire doesn't give a billionaire a pay cut, he's selfish. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to win, and the right. fans jump on it with both feet. Oh yeah, they always. buy in with both feet. Always. Oh, if right. I was doing, hold on, if I was doing this, if mm -hmm. somebody paid me thirty million, well, if somebody would pay you thirty million, how much do you think they're making? Mm. But fans, for, it's the same. That's why, and I get, I get, look, I understand both sides because I was a player. And I yeah. understand when they struck in 82, when they struck in 87, the replacement players came in 87. <laughs> you know why the the the, 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 the players started coming back? Because right. what they found out that the stadiums were still filled. They yeah. don't care about the players. All yeah. they care about is the logo. Players come and go. That logo stays the same. Forever. So what the players found out is that we got to take what they give us and the fan mm -hmm. and the owners know that that's why they do what they do. That's why they don't have guaranteed contracts. Yeah. See what the, you see what baseball did baseball yeah. shut their entire season down. No yeah. world series, no playoffs, no nothing. That's what they needed to do to the NFL. No yeah, playoffs, gotta, no Super Bowl. You, you, you got to get, you got to, all the players have to be aligned right. they, I think, together. Ocho. You know, Ocho. that's hard. That's what you do. You say, look here, guys. We're going to do this, but I need you guys. Listen, no more splurging. No more. I need you to save every dime for three years because yeah. this might take a year. Yeah. This might take a year. It might yeah. take two years. Yeah. But right before the playoffs, that's right. how you get them. Everybody, right before every the playoffs, lock it down. Everybody got to be aligned. Though. What did the in 2011, what did the owners do to the players, Ocho? They locked mm -hmm. y'all ass out of the building. Out, out the building, yeah. Yeah. Y'all going up there and say, uh-uh. They put chains and locks on the door. Yeah. That's what they did to y'all. And the play, mm -hmm. what did the fans say? Not a damn thing. Now, yeah. billionaires locked out millionaires. But yeah. if you don't take a pay cut, fans jump you, in the you, chat. You, you, the selfish. first thing they're going to say, you yeah. selfish. He don't yeah. want to win. No. Well, the owners don't want to win because they ain't paying no money. Yeah. Look, I mean, but then, then, and the funny thing about the fans, the fans will say, "Oh, a bunch of millionaires crying. Oh, you got all this money. Why are you arguing? Well, you're making this and you're making that." But I don't think people understand. Obviously, what it takes to even get to this point, right. and then right. obviously getting what you feel you're worth. I mean, they they already gonna cut you short anyway, based on what your what your value really is. But you got to fight tooth and nail to get what you deserve. Or what you feel you deserve, especially once you put the work in. When you put the work in and your resume is shown on the green graph between the white lines, right? You have to fight tooth and nail to get what you deserve. I'm not even gonna say no names, but some quarterbacks, depending on who it is, oh, it's no issues. Things get done based on who it is. Oh, Richard, everybody, but, gonna, everybody gonna have to face this day. Oh, I remember. I remember. Why you think Tom Brady out of New England? They weren't going to get oh. Tom Brady wanted that money. They said, Bill Belichick oh, yeah. said, not on my watch. I oh, yeah, remember yeah, yeah, when John yeah. Elway made Peyton Manning take a pay cut. So, uh -huh. uh, yeah. Yeah, made sure him? did. Serious? Sure did. Sure did. When was it? When was yeah. It? They look it up. Fans, it's in the chat. You know. They made Peyton Manning take a pay cut? They sure did. Absolutely. 1,000%. And the, and, 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 and the thing is, Ocho, is that they frame like I said, the owners they frame it and fans right. buy in. I right. just want I don't know if anybody knows fans before the season, but after the season, every NFL team last year got a check for 300 million. Now, ain't no tickets sold, ain't no concession, ain't no merchandise. Oh, ain't TV no deal, 
TV TV deal. deal. That's just the TV deal. Oh, yeah. That's not for tickets. That's not for concessions. That's not for merchandise. That's not for local broadcast rights. Mm -hmm. That's just TV, national TV. YouTube just spent 2.2 billion a year. Amazon spent a billion. Netflix wants some of this action, be it football or basketball. And the owners split that, huh? Each owner get 300 million. Mm. And that's before a ticket is sold. Ain't no parking. Ain't no concession. Ain't no merchandise. Ain't no local broadcasting. What a boy eating, bro. And now you got, now let's do local sponsorship. Let's do mm. local advertising. Right. Man, they better stop. Yeah. You know what, Ocho? I, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I got on my soapbox. I'm sorry I got on my soapbox. But mm-hmm. I just need, fans need to understand this. Mm-hmm. They need to understand. I don't think they'll ever be under understand though. I they don't, don't care. They'll, they'll never be able to understand because they're they're looking at it from a different view as a fan and not the actual player. They're seeing it as, well, you're a millionaire, you're making millions of dollars. Think about the opportunity that you have or th- that you have to make this kind of money, and you're yeah. complaining about not making enough. And it's it's it's, it's I think hey. it's really hard for them to understand and but, get a grasp on where we're coming from. Oh, Joe. But what I tell the fans, let's just say you making a hundred thousand, you make a hundred fifty thousand on your job. You know what I'm gonna do? You're solid. I'm gonna bump your pay up to two hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. And your boss come to you and say, I need you to take a fifty seventy five thousand dollar pay cut because we want to play somebody else and we want to make sure that we win at whatever we do. Y'all signing on for that? Mm. Why not? See, I want you to look at it to a relative scale. Don't look at somebody making 30 million because you're not making 30 million. I need you to look at it in your terms. You're making 175 to 200,000 and your Mm. boss come to you and say, take $250,000 pay cut so so we can hire Karen in HR. You good (laughs) with that? Who good with that? Ain't nobody, don't, hey, you ain't taking no money from me, but y'all got no problem taking the no. money from a football player. Why? Yeah. Because it ain't your money. But yeah. when I hit your pockets, now all of a sudden, man, huh, 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 huh. and yeah. see what here's oh. the thing. Think about it, Ocho. Uh-huh. Remember I told you, when they ask you to take a pay cut, okay, you making 13 million. They want right. to take you down to eight, but mm. they want you to make plays just like you making 13 million. You see how they did your Ocho? Yeah. I like how you went there. Ocho, can you still give me 1,400? Can you still give me 10 touchdowns? Can you still mm. give me those 90 to 100 catches? But yeah. I need you to take an $8,000 pay cut. But make those mm-hmm. same plays. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh! It's, cra- it's crazy how it worked. It's crazy how it worked. And the, fun- the funny thing about it is you have to damn near play when your price tag is similar to that of Russell Wilson. You got to damn near almost play mistake free football mm-hmm. and damn near be in contention. You can't have any no slip ups, no, 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 nothing. The team has to be damn near on the way to the goddamn Super Bowl <laughs> to warrant the money you're getting. And then the owner, the new owners, the new coach, that's not who brought Russell Wilson, Russell Wilson in, right? I, I remember I had this conversation. I say Sean Payton ain't beholden to Russell Wilson. Right. And I told you early on, I said, Ocho, yeah. you remember we there was in Detroit and he was yelling? Uh-huh. I said, yeah, I get it, but not in public like that. Right, you don't right, right. dress down a guy of Russell Wilson. Now, we've seen yeah. lesser tier quarterbacks, mm-hmm. Coach Parcells and some of the mm-hmm. other coaches have dressed mm-hmm. down lesser tier quarterbacks, right. but not Russell Wilson. No matter mm-hmm. how, no matter how mm-hmm. poorly you think he's played in Denver, mm-hmm. right. he's a Super Bowl winner. He's mm-hmm. a multiple time playoff and he has 300 touchdown passes. He has mm-hmm. 30, 40,000 mm-hmm. passing yards, maybe mm-hmm. even 50. So mm-hmm. he's earned a level, of, I, I believe, me personally, mm-hmm. I believe he's earned a certain level of respect right, on right. the sideline. Now, if you mm-hmm. want to say some things behind closed doors where the public can't hear or see, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. have at it. But I'm you know, telling think- you, Ocho, mm-hmm. remember I, I came on. There were some things going on with the last coach that Russell right. would get away with. And right. when Sean Payton found out about it, he mm-hmm. was incensed. Now, yeah. I tried to tell people what was going on last year. And everybody was asking, Shannon, how you know? You ain't in the locker room. Right. The player, you heard what his teammate said. Congratulations, teammate. You're supposed to stand up for Russell Wilson. But right. I don't give a damn what they said. 
Yeah. Everything that I said was going on was factual. What's going on? Yeah. And then yeah. now all of a sudden, Shannon, what you think about the situation? No. When I tried to tell you, you told me to shut my mouth because I didn't know what was going on. I promise right. you. If I tell you grass will turn to cheese, start hustling crackers. That's what I need you to do. Whatever you're doing, whatever your occupation is, if right. I tell you grass will turn to cheese tomorrow, quit your mm -hmm. job, start hustling crackers. Yeah. Now I told you what was going on. And I mm -hmm. told you if Russell Wilson didn't play to at a at a at an MVP level, the right. Bronco was gonna move on. Well, I, you know, you ain't in the locker room. You just talking loud mouth. Now everything mm -hmm. I said has come to fruition. Now yeah. what? And hey, you think they sabotage it on purpose? Not, no. not saying that it's not possible. They but... wanted to get out from under that contract. It's really so, simple, Ocho. So do you so you do think they might have sabotaged it perfectly? They didn't sabotage him. Once they realized they said, look, he's not living up to the contract. Mm -hmm. We don't want to get him hurt, Ocho. How many times you seen you see this all the time in the preseason? They mm -hmm. don't let the guy play because they don't want to pay him. So they ain't gonna let his ass get into the last preseason game, right. get hurt, and get that money. So he don't play. You, you know see what? how many how many years you seen that? It's yeah, a lot. But you know, you know what would be a good one? Jared Stidham. Jared Stidham. I know you're gonna see this. Yeah. Jared, if you see this and you're, you're really a team player, Jared should get hurt like the first play of the game. So Russell Wilson got to come in and finish the next two weeks. Ocho, I'm trying. Hold on, Ocho. Do you know how many other teams watching this tape? Russell Wilson done made his money. Okay, I see you going with it. Russell Wilson done made his it. money. I mean, I'm I'm just just a little jab back at the Denver Broncos. Just a little jab back at the Denver Broncos. Oh, since y'all want to play games, huh? Okay, mm -mm. we got. I got one Ocho, for you. You know that ain't how it work, Ocho. Yeah, because here's the thing: here's a guy that's not made a ton of money. Somebody, right. thirty-one other teams gonna get this film. Right now, granted, they did the same thing to Derek Carr last year. Jared Stidham oh, yeah. started in place of Derek Carr. Oh yeah, remember he Jared Stidham was supposed to be the guy that played for Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. Now I don't know how well if Jared Stidham. Now he's had three opp second two opportunities: New England right. and uh, 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 the, Raiders. Uh, the Raiders. Now this yeah. is his third opportunity, so mm -hmm. we're gonna find out. But I know he's gonna put his best foot forward because he's the playing for a contract. Right. Russell Wilson is gonna listen. Russell got thirty nine million guaranteed coming, yeah. so even even he's gonna be able to double dip mm -hmm. with the Raiders yeah. needing a starting quarterback. There are other teams that uh, 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 there are a lot of teams that need a starting quarterback. I think I think the best place for him to go is the Steelers. I said the Steelers, and the I Steelers, I tweeted, I, yeah, uh, I, I, I tweeted, I tweeted, I tweeted, I tweeted that earlier today. The Patriots need a quarterback. Don't, don't no no don't don't send it to the Patriots. Don't send it to the Patriots. Don't don't do that. Well, I, I think just, the, the Steelers. You have Tomlin, Super Bowl yeah. winning coach. You mm -hmm. have Russell Wilson, a Super Bowl winning quarterback with a pedigree and knowing what it's like to, again, get to the playoffs. Are the you so standard? The Steelers yeah. standard on always winning and being in playoff contention. That's the perfect quarterback for your situation. You got Pickens. You got Deontay Johnson. Listen, being able to hand the ball off, the goddamn. Najee Harris, mm -hmm. I can't remember the the other running back's name who've been playing really well. But oh oh uh, uh 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 Jalen uh what's Jalen last name? Uh, I know that number thirty for yeah. the Steelers. I know who exactly. I think I think I think it's a match made in heaven based on the resume of Tomlin, the resume of goddamn Russell Wilson. You don't have yeah. to do too much. You have great targets. You have a great running game. You got a great coach, great scheme. You have a great fucking defense. A yeah. good defense. It just it just makes too much sense to me. Some people uh, the say, Falcons oh, I don't can like use it. him. Huh? The Falcons. Come, Atlanta no. Falcons. No, don't do that. Don't Man, do that. Don't hold do that. on. Do they got yeah. Kyle Pitts. Listen, they got that uh, uh they got the receiver from USC. They got Drake Bajon London. Drake London. Yeah, it, it's yeah, good. Drake London. But but we talk about playoff. Jalen Warren we is about... the guy the running back for the Steelers, Jalen Warren. You just you just put them on a team. I'm thinking about long term and actually have being in contention to bro, win a goddamn bro, trophy. Bro, the been in the league damn near 13 years, though, Joe. How much long term you think he gonna play? You think he gonna be? See, everybody thought that I'm gonna play like Brady. I'm gonna play like Brady. No, bro, he, he, no he, if if he's not gonna play that long, at least put him on a team that is going to make the playoffs and be in contention for a trophy. It ain't gonna be the goddamn Falcons, and that's no disrespect to them. They okay. got a long way to go. Remember, they I got told you, Ocho, Ocho. What did I just tell you? Uh, Date the girl that wants you, not the girl you want. Oh, I mean, I, I don't think this. I don't think the Steelers <laughs> would turn turn their nose up at Russell Wilson. Now, I don't but think so. What you think he gonna want? Oh, he don't want much. He just got thirty. You watch your mind. Now nah, he ain't gonna hit him across the head. What, hold on. What I made at my last job ain't got nothing to do. Even if they still owe me money, they ain't got nothing right. to do with you. Right. I mean, how yeah. many people fans in the chat? 
you are on your job. Mm-hmm. Your job lets you go, but they gotta pay you a, they gotta pay you your salary. Let's right, just say right. it's a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. You right. go to your you got a new job. Well, you know, your old job still paying you, so we only gonna play the hell you say. I ain't working at the old job. I'm working at a new job, so I want new money. <laughs> Man, y'all. I don't, you know, I don't even think he had the leverage like that anyway. Yeah. I don't even think he had the leverage like that. And, and you don't want to come off in bad taste going to a new team demanding anything extreme. I, anyway. I, it ain't no demand. I, I want the going rate. What's the, okay, what's the going rate for a starting quarterback? Right 40 now, mil. What? 40. The Cowboys going to renegotiate that contract. It's going to be somewhere between 50 and 60. Yeah, they need to pay him 70 because it's American team. I don't team. know what they need to pay him, but Russell Wilson said, okay, the going rate for a starting quarterback is 40 mil. Damn. That ain't got that 39 that I got coming, that ain't got nothing right. to do with y'all. Y'all ain't paying right, none right. of that. Right. I'm on your clock now. Look, and look, I thought Russell, I thought Russ played well. I know what they're looking at. They mm-hmm. say when when the game is, is is like when the game is reliant on Russell being improvisational, mm-hmm. that's when he's at his best. Right. So I don't think Sean Payton really likes that. He likes things a little bit more structured. If right, you look right. at the success he had, Drew Brees is more prototypical of what Sean Payton is looking for. Mm. Although I think that style of quarterback play is archaic. If you right. look at the quarterbacks that's having success, most of those guys are more athletic. They're more mobile. Now, you look, Jared Goff is not the more mobile. He can take off. He has better legs than Brady and right. Manning ever had, Eli Manning ever had. Right. But he's not he's not like, you know, he's not Lamar. Nobody's asking him to be. But we mm-hmm. see Patrick Mahomes, how yeah. mobile he is. Very. We see a Joe Burrow. We'll see these guys. These guys have become yeah. much more athletic. Yes, they can drop back, throw the ball from the pocket. Mm-hmm. But when you got Miles Garrett and you got Michaels and you got the TJ Watts, mm-hmm. those guys have become more athletic. So you need a quarterback that's more athletic to be able, even though they can't outrun them, just buy some time in order to push the ball down the field. Mm. Yes, this is all about money. I'm not surprised that they're taking this route for the simple fact is they don't believe that Russell Wilson is playing up to that contract and he can fulfill the remaining years on that contract. So you know what? We're going to cut bait. We're going to eat $39 million. It's probably going to be somewhere between $60 and $7 million in dead money. Now, do we we divvy it up over two years? Or do we just take this blow to the stomach right now? That's that's the only question that the Broncos right. have because the Broncos have already made their decision. Yeah. They're moving on in 2024 without Russell Wilson. But then to who? To what? But and, and, and the thing is, uh, they're they're probably going to draft maybe in free agency. I don't know, but they're they're not they're going on without Russ because yeah. think about what they gave up to get him. Yeah, a lot. Two first rounders, a second, a, a third, a fourth. And three players, a lot, which is why the fact that they're they're getting rid of him so soon is Ocho. beyond me. Ocho, the thing that these teams, a lot of these teams, what they will do mm-hmm. once they come to the, because a lot of times what you do, you in, in a relationship, and and people y'all hear me talk about relationships a lot. A lot of time in a relationship, you know that shit ain't working, but out of a <laughs> matter of convenience, you stay your ass there. Yeah. Instead of just moving on, either party, I'm not saying he's wrong or her or this Mm -hmm. or that. I'm saying people sometimes stay in a relationship when Mm -hmm. you know it ain't going nowhere. Yeah. The Broncos know they're not going anywhere with Russell Wilson. So instead of staying and trying to figure it out, let's just move on down the road. And guess what? And he might be Ocho. We've Mm -hmm. all been in situations. It didn't work out with us, but she has better luck with someone else. Or you have better luck with someone else. It's yeah. okay. Right. You're right. And you know, and you gotta you, be able you, to under, you gotta be able to process that, Ocho. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you use that analogy, it makes much more sense. It makes much more sense, especially when you put it like that. But to me, with the money that comes into play and the fact that it's only been two years. Wait, this is year two, right? Yes, the second year. Yeah, it's is it's, it's only year two. Normally, I would think, I would think with a new coach coming in, new regime, new owner. Just, you know, you, you 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 give it some time, but I guess their mind is made up. I think Sean Payton just maybe didn't like Russell Wilson. Maybe maybe he just didn't like him. And the fact that Russell has known for a long time 
that they were wanting to bench him and at least a month and, and was still and he was still professional was still out there professional and winning games mm -hmm. throwing tds yeah but and i think that's why sean payton barked at him a little bit he wanted to get he wanted to get a reaction i think he wanted to get a reaction out of him that ain't Russell Russell but that's not really Russ. That, that's not that's not him i'm not surprised Russ just that's Russ just took it because i and like i told you i said i was like i'm trying to figure out why he was yelling, unless mm -hmm. Russell checked to a play, right. it was supposed to be quarterback sneak or something. Mm -hmm. I don't understand how he's yelling at Russ because mm -hmm. the damn lineman lined up offside. How the yeah. hell is that Russ's fault? So probably, I was, probably, I was probably, a probably did public. call some, probably did call some. He wasn't supposed to call. And so that's what that's what that's why I was puzzled. Uh, look, mm -hmm. for but Ocho, no matter what transpired. Mm -hmm. Before Sean Payton got there, everybody was supposed to have a fresh slate. So whatever yeah. Russ did or didn't do, that mm -hmm. wasn't under your watch. Right. So you shouldn't have felt some type of way about him. I thought we were starting from scratch. Right. Clearly, that wasn't the case. Nah. So no matter what you – look, I've been critical of Russ, but I don't think Russ, Russ deserved – I shouldn't say he deserved because I hate using that word deserved. Mm -hmm. I just think the thing is the Broncos felt – that Russ wasn't living up and couldn't fulfill the money that was remaining on the contract. Right. Instead of trying to make it, make it, make it work. You know what? Let's just move on. Yeah. Let's just That's, let's just move on, Ocho. Hey, I mean, it's tough. really it's really that simple. Let's That's just tough. move but on. Then, but I think when when owners or they make those type of business decisions, do they think about the other players in the locker room? Do we think Hell about no. do they do we think about the fans? What, what do the no. fans think? Because now you're back at square one. Because Ocho. as you got 32 teams in the NFL, correct. And you need you need one. There's one important position that you need to compete week in and week out, and even think about playoffs or goddamn Lombardi Trophy, and that's a quarterback. And you just let one that is a Super Bowl winner. One that's been to multiple playoffs and one that knows what it takes to win. And because he wasn't playing well, you know what? Because he's making so much money, uh, we're going to let this one go and start over from scratch. Oh, Joe, you know why the owners don't care what the fans think? Because they're going to buy them tickets and show their ass up in the stands. And you know what? And the ones that can't afford their tickets, they're going to watch on television. Look at the mm -hmm. ratings. Look at the ratings, Ocho. That's yeah. what the NFL moves. That's what moves the needle. You see, mm -hmm. the reason why they wanted wanted uh, uh, the players to stand because it was affecting the sponsors, the right. advertisers. That's mm -hmm. what moved them. They don't give a damn about them fans. Mm -hmm. Now, when the fans like, okay, we're not gonna watch or we're not gonna boycott, they're like, mm, whatever, we'll see. But when the sponsors started feeling some type of way, when yeah. the people, yeah. yeah, see, they figured this out. The fans are gonna come regardless. When they talk about, oh, boycott, boycott, boycott. Y'all ain't boycotting. Because those same people that boycotted Michael Vick when they came back from the Eagles, guess what? Right. The, as soon as the game started, they put those damn signs down and they went in the game. They went yeah. and watched the game. That's what they right. did. And yeah. the owners realized that. Y'all ain't boycotting nothing. And you're watching. That's why the ratings keep going up and up. And the yeah. TV money keep going up and going up. That's up why it up. costs more for, these, for everybody trying to get into live events. Right. That's why YouTube. YouTube doing football games. Amazon go from delivering packages to doing football games. Football games, yeah. Come That's on crazy. now. Come on with it. That's crazy. If it makes dollars, it makes sense. One with a C and one with an S. Either way, it makes sense. And right. you know what I'm talking about. So all that talking, we're going to boycott, we're going to do this. No, you're not. You're not nah. going to do anything. Nah. You're going to show up to the game and pay, mm -hmm. and you're going to watch on television. The owner have figured it out. We, it, the, the, the funny thing about it is, is the fans will probably never all join in in unison and say, "Okay, we're boycotting." Even worse than that, to get the players all to align with the same moral compass and values of, you know what? In order for things never. to work, in order for things to to turn and switch over in our favor, we all gotta say, "You know what? Fuck it, we ain't doing it." We ain't playing it's hard until we get guaranteed contracts or whatever it may be, whatever cause it is that you want to fight for to get all 53 players on all 32 teams to get together and do it. All it takes is one time to get the change that you want. All it takes is one time, but it'd be a damn near impossible 
Because oh, when them God. checks, when them checks stop coming and it in it, it, September 9th roll around and ain't no checks coming in, man, boy, uncle get tough now. It, it does. That's why it, I'm it, saying it, you gotta have tough. a you gotta, see, you gotta have a process though. You gotta you can't say, okay, we're gonna we're gonna do this. You say you gotta give the players three years and you gotta let them know mm -hmm. this is what's happening. Right. And hopefully you have enough in the war chest that you can mm -hmm. you can withstand a year. Mm -hmm. But Oh, hey, that's a, Look, that, hey, that's a you, tough one. Cause them, hey, them owners, oh, they could withstand it. Because here's they, the thing, they could I'm worth a billion dollars. I go mm -hmm. to the bank and says, "Look, I'm not gonna be able to make this payment on this on this building this month, but I catch you next month." Okay, Mr. Yeah. Jones. Okay, Mr. Kraft. Okay, mm -hmm. Mr. This one, whoever the owner is of that particular team, let a player say that. Uh, okay, well, you got another thirty days, and after yeah. that, we're gonna start the process. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, Ocho, I'm just going to keep it a stack with you. So you see, Ocho, there, there's something going on better at play here. And I don't know if the people are realizing it. Yeah. Because, see, you see what happened. If you go back and study our history, and I was a history major, so I'm pretty good and I feel very comfortable in what I'm right. about to say. You see, you remember in the 60s, the government started giving us things. They gave us a little civil rights. Oh, yeah. They gave us a little voting rights act. They oh, give yeah. us a little Fair House Act. Yeah, just a little they, bit, man. Just a little, just they a little bit. They give us a little bit. Just oh, a little yeah. bit. And you remember in the 70s, Roe v. Wade, they gave us abortion. Mm -hmm. This is the first generation that's starting to take that ish back. Yeah. And people don't even realize it. Look yeah. at it. Look at what they're starting to do. Mm -hmm. They gave and gave and gave. And mm -hmm. then they say, you know what? Piece by piece, we'll start taking it back taking it just back. like yeah. we gave it to them. And they won't even notice it. Mm-mm. You see, mm -hmm. what people do, you don't steal. See, the thing is, if you don't steal 300 million, you steal a million at a time over right. a period of time. Time. And before they notice it, you see, it's all gone. They take a little bit by little bit. Mm -hmm. You see, voting rights, okay, we're going to make it a little bit more difficult over here. You see, your yes. civil rights, you see. And I'm not just talking about black people, I'm mm -hmm. talking about anybody that, that want rights. Right. You see how they take it? You see, Roe mm -hmm. v. Wade. Mm -hmm. They've been they've been going at it. They've been they've been pulling and pulling. They've been trying yeah. to get it since it, it was instituted. I think it was seventy two. Roe v. Wade happened in seventy two, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Don't quote me on that, but I feel pretty confident that it was. Uh, and boom, boom, seventy three <laughs> in seventy three. And so slowly by slowly, surely but surely, yeah. surely but surely, slowly but slowly. And next thing you know, you look up. So gener this generation, you better get on your grind now. While you out there, while you out there flossing and doing all this crazy stuff, you better look up. You're gonna look up and be like, damn, I ain't got shit. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm yeah. And you know, I the funny thing about it, I think a lot of people don't pay attention to it. A lot of people don't pay attention to it because it hasn't affected them yet, or it's not affecting them at all. No. Yet. No, no, it, yet. It, but see, it takes a special type of person. Mm -hmm. You see, it takes a special type of person to have empathy because mm -hmm. empathy requires you to divorce yourself and see yourself as that person mm. <laughs> see only um, see some things can only be seen through the mind through the eyes that have cried Ocho so if you can't see yourself as homeless how can you feel hope how can you help you see that's why people will give to cancer because mm -hmm. they know someone that's been afflicted by that deadly yeah. disease so it's yeah. easy to get on okay when someone that's been brutalized, well, I can't. You think Jerry Jones can see somebody in his family being brutalized? Mm -mm. Look at when that flood in Texas. Look at how much the NFL, how they raised that money. JJ mm -hmm. Watt made thirty million dollars. Bless yeah. his heart, he was unbelievable. Won yeah. Walter Payton Man of the Year because you see, the flood can impact anybody. Water doesn't know if you black or white. Yeah. yeah but. You know what, Ocho? I, let me let me stop, Ocho. I, yeah. I, I'm sorry, Ocho. I got. I'm now sorry. You good? You good? You good? You good? You good? Ocho, I'm sorry that I got off topic. I got off topic. That's. I just. Uh, T.J. Ellsworth asked, "Is there a quarterback in the upcoming draft that you're hoping your Broncos get, or a free agent who you believe would fit the team better?" Well, look. It doesn't matter what I think. I think Sean Payton thinks he can find someone that would fit the team better. That's what he thinks. They gave him a lot of money, Ocho. Yeah. They gave him a lot of money. They gave him a lot of power. Listen, I know he, they want to win. I, I, I love, I, I love, I love Sean Payton. He, I, I don't see him as a quarterback whisperer, and I'm not sure what's out there that he think is going to change. Because if you think he was screaming at Russell Wilson two weeks ago or three weeks ago, or however long ago it was, he gonna be screaming some more. 
Yeah, of course. He that's him. That's the he, he, he gonna be who is this manager? Bill Parcells. Bill Parcells yelled at everybody. Yeah. He yelled at Phil Sims. He yelled at Drew Bledsoe, Tony Romo. Uh, he called Terry Glenn. Uh, she was hurt. I mean, you couldn't do that now. He wouldn't refer to T.O. by his name. I, I remember said, that. Man. I remember that. I remember that. Oh, that was funny. Man. That was funny. Oh, man, I'm just saying. So that's kind of, and, and you have to be careful mm-hmm. when you learn because you, you, I mean, you uh, uh, exhibit a lot of those, that, that behavior. If mm-hmm. you look at the guys that under Coach Belichick, all of them try to be like Coach Belichick, and only mm-hmm. only one coach that's ever been a coordinator on the Coach Belichick has had mm-hmm. success at really any level. That's Nick yeah. Saban. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you right. You right. You right. <laughs> so, uh, what what quarterback though? What quarterback would you say? Dre and I mean the they the the Broncos are picking Falcons, high enough. I saw Broncos somebody aren't picking Falcons. high enough. <laughs> Uncle Maine said, "We the Falcon fans don't want Russ." Nor do we need future Sierra Russ drama in our locker room. <laughs> man, y'all wild about with him, man. Let I that forgot, man I forgot all about Stall him that. out, fans. Stall him I out. All about that. <laughs> uh, Ocho, I mean, look, I don't know when the Broncos are going to draft. Look, the last thing I think they need to do is give up any more draft capital. Because I think that's it. Because here's the thing, Ocho. When you give up that kind of draft capital, you yeah. give up two first-round picks. Yeah. Ocho, he got to make it. He yeah. gotta make it because right. that's the that's the foundation piece at the quarterback. Mm-hmm. That's the position that sits everybody back. Yeah, the that's, the that they, that's the position. That's the position. They letting sit- it go too early though, huh? Year two. Year two. Ocho, how long? How long you in a relationship before you realize it's time to break it off? Two days, two weeks, two months, two years. I that's that's too long. Whatever the two is. If I know it ain't working, it's too long. Two right. minutes, two hours, two days, two weeks, two months, two years. <laughs> it doesn't matter. If you, Ocho, if you know. Right. That's the problem. A lot of times people stay in situations when you know he or are she they, ain't going to they Are they pulling the trigger too soon? Based on him, based on his numbers. Are they pulling the trigger too soon? His numbers are identical to Pat, Patrick Mahomes. Are they pulling the trigger too soon? What do you, what do you think? The question is, okay, whatever, because here's the thing. A lot of people say it ain't Russ' fault. They've always blamed the quarterback. And you just said in the Jets, the Jets' offensive line isn't very good. Who they blame, yeah. Ocho? Name a situation in which they, I mean, hey, I remember the same thing. Now, when Lamar receivers weren't very good, they blamed Lamar, even though he was throwing the less than, less than all-star caliber re- receivers. Right. Hey, we put a lot of that up, but Mahomes ain't playing. Look, Mahomes, if, if Mahomes were playing like he would normally play, maybe he'd right. be, be able to overcome some of the inadequacies that's right. going on in the receiver core. So guess what? He got blamed again. Yeah. That's just the way it is, Ocho. You yeah, make the right. most money, you get the blame. You get most yeah. of the blame. You right. I'm not you're saying right. it's right. I just understand how it works. It comes with the territory. It, it does. Territory. It does. Because no matter what, Ocho, you can give a kid everything. If the kid doesn't turn out right, they're going to blame the parents. Mm. Give him everything. I like, I, I like that one. They're going to say they gave him too much. If the kid turns out bad, they're going to say, well, the, the parents didn't love him enough. Mm. So you just got to you just gotta hope for the best. The kid turns right. out well, so you get the credit. That's just the way it is, Ocho. I didn't make the rules. Ocho, the Packers suspended Jahir Alexander. The Packers Jahir. Uh, uh, reserve list conduct detrimental. Packers GM said the de- decision to s- suspend a player is never easy and not one we take lightly. Unfortunately, Jahir's action prior to the game in Carolinas, Carolina led us to take this step. As an organization, we have an expectation that everyone puts team first. While we are disappointed, we had a good conversation, conversation with Jahir, and this morning, and fully expect him to learn from this. Ocho, what, what's my favorite saying, Ocho? You never accept anything in a win, you wouldn't have lost. Had they yeah. lost this game, would yeah. what he did have been okay? Yes or no, Ocho? No. So, what? That, and that's what I've been telling you. You see, he's one of your better cornerbacks in the league. And the Green Bay Packers said, what you did, your behavior is so egregious. Mm-hmm. We got to sit you down. We've yeah. got to set a precedent. We've right. got to let out the rest of the other 51 
Oh, excuse mm-hmm. me. The other 45 in the practice squad. Right. This type of behavior is never acceptable. Yeah. And then the cavalierness of it. Ocho, did you know? Did you know understand what he did? Do you understand what he did, Ocho? Bring it to me one more time. He was not a captain. He went on the field for the coin toss. <laughs> they won the coin toss. He the other team won the coin toss. He right. deferred. So, in other words, Carolina was gonna get both possessions to start the game and start the second half. And he thought it was cool. That's what the, the smugness and the cavalierness of it. I think I got that right. Am I correct? Is that what happened? Okay. Yeah. Hey. Hey, you that that's that's how it went for real? Absolutely. Yeah, you, you can't do that. You you can't do that. You can't do that. But you know, it it, it makes me upset. You know why it makes me upset? Why? Because the goddamn play the goddamn Packers are playing the Vikings. You yeah. know who plays for the Vikings? Yeah. Justin Jefferson. Mm-hmm. Who the hell for the cover Justin Jefferson? That's what I want to know. Because I want to see that matchup. I want to see the matchup because Justin Jefferson has been hurt. Jair, Jair Alexander and Justin Jefferson is a matchup that we would all want to see. But the fact that he's suspended, it's unfortunate what he did. Totally unacceptable. Totally unacceptable. And I understand this. But why? Oh, oh, so, come on. I don't even know why he did it. He's from I Charlotte. Why, I get he, all he, that. He's from Charlotte. He, but bro, you play for the Packers. Yeah, but even if you if even if you're from Charlotte, what is going on for the coin toss? How does that that doesn't really he wanted to give he I guess he thought he was doing a solid for the Panthers. I don't know. I don't know. I know one thing. That's that motherfucking boy, though, in man-to-man coverage. He's a yeah. great corner. A very, very good corner. Very good corner. Play up. You know what? Packers are out of playoff contention, huh? No. They're absolutely not. They in playoff contention and sitting the best corner down? Yes. Yes. Ooh, you talking yes. about they, they, hey, they That's the precedent. Down. That's they, the they win. The precedent. They ain't even, bullshit. Even if they don't win, this is right. what we gotta let this is what we gotta let everybody know. Right. You see, punishment is just not for the individual that committed right. said act. It is right. deter others mm-hmm. for committing said committing act. That's what act. punishment right. is supposed to do. Right. Punishment should be swift. It should be harsh. Mm. When you we deduce what? the facts, when we get down to it, he mm-hmm. or she did X. Right. It's not Lila gag. Yeah. What he did. Think, go ahead. Unacceptable. I don't think, I don't think they ain't going to be the same after this. Cool. I don't think, I don't think you're going to be there next year. No, well, he's trying to get out clearly. Yeah, because yeah, it, didn't they it, didn't it, they suspend him? Didn't they suspend him uh, last year? Didn't he, he have some kind of? I think he, he had an issue with them last year, Ocho. For real? Yes, I think this has yeah. kind of been going back and forth. I don't know if he wanted more money, but Jair Alexander has been having some issues with the Packers right. organization for a mm-hmm. while now, if I'm not mistaken. Chat, y'all chime in. Let me know if I'm right or wrong. Yeah, any anytime it gets to this point, obviously I understand they want to set a precedent. Anytime they get to the point of spending one of their best, if not their but the, the best corner, you know, on the team, and it gets to the point where we're gonna we're gonna suspend them, even with our team being in playoff contention, especially with the game we have coming up, playing against arguably the best receiver in the NFL who just come back from injury. They 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 yeah, that they they they're sending a message. Not I, not I, just not just suspending him for this game. Yeah, but it's a different kind of message if you look at it from the other the other side of the coin. I think whether he hurt or they said he was he was, he was hurt or something. But John Hill Alexander and and they've had issues with him before. If I, I know I didn't I didn't miss. I'm not yeah. with. Maybe 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 it is. Maybe it was was John here hurt or something, and they wanted him to come back, and he said he was hurt. I know he was injured for a little bit this year. I know that. I know one thing. When he is healthy, that motherfucker know he could cover. Oh, he, oh, he legit. Boy, he could cover. Oh, I'm, I talking remember, about, I'm talking about. I'm talking about man to man too. Oh yeah. In your, well, in you your remember? Face. La- you remember last year that John, uh-huh. Justin Jefferson in Minnesota he went crazy. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah and yeah, Jair yeah, yeah. says, "Okay, he got to come see me." Yeah. He got to come see me. Yeah. And when he came to Lambeau, it wasn't uh-huh. the same. Yeah, different ball game. Well, if I brought, uh, I, I uh, we, love, we I love matchup. I love matchups like that. But come I on, just, J- I, Jair! Come on, come on to Cincinnati, boy. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to figure out why. Why would you even? Why would you even put yourself in this? That Ocho? I don't know. You know, you know what's funny? Him not want to be. He might have did it on purpose. Oh, he did. What you he mean? Might've he might have did it on purpose. Just, just the. He's you know from what? Charlotte. Let me, let me, let me, let me piss him off one more time. Before this season end, see if they, this can help me get out the door. 
Maybe you never know. Yeah. Because other ways he might have been trying behind closed doors ain't work. Yeah. I, I you know? look like I said. I, I mean, he's one of the highest paid. Didn't did he had he gotten a contract extension? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So oh, yeah. I know he's yeah he's one of the highest paid. And Green yeah. Bay has some talent. You think about Zadaria Zadaria Smith, who's yeah. in Cleveland right now, played he, really he, well. He Remember, uh, Z went to Minnesota, played so, well yeah. there. Uh, they mm -hmm. still have Rashawn Gary. They still have Preston Smith, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Jai Alexander. I mean, they had a very talented yeah. look. They they just let Rasul Douglas go. Over yeah, they the traded him Buffalo. to Buffalo. Tripping. But the thing was, Ocho, the opportunity that they had when they had home field throughout and they had the mm -hmm. championship game on their field and they had all right. those dogs and they mm -hmm. didn't cash it in. And yeah. that opportunity don't knock but so often yeah. before it moves on to someone else's door to mm -hmm. knock on. And when Green Bay had that opportunity, you know, they had Devontae and they had mm -hmm. some of those guys and you yeah. look at what they had on the defensive side of the football yeah. and they couldn't close it out. Yeah. Even after they got, what, they get three interceptions from Tom Brady mm -hmm. and they still didn't win that game. They didn't capitalize. Yeah. So uh, I just I just hate that Jahir put himself in that situation. I, I really hate that. Look, I, I just look. Ocho, I believe that even if I don't like my job, there's there's something about being a pro and being a professional. And yeah. although they're they're, they're, they're they're kind of spelled the same, they start off the same, but they're two mm -hmm. different things. Right. A professional is the occupation. Mm -hmm. A pro is who you are. Mm. They're two different things, Ocho. Yeah. You see, Ocho, there, there's a saying that says, uh, change is inevitable. Growth is optional. Choose wisely. Yeah. You're right. You're right. But listen, with the way they treat some of those that even act professional and do things like a pro, that business side can make you turn a blind eye. That's another saying, too. I got that from my grandma. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alexander missed weeks three and four with a back injury, played through it in week five because he was facing his former teammate, Devontae Adams, then missed week game seven against the Broncos with the same injury. In week nine, Alexander suffered a shoulder injury, diving to break up a pass and missed six consecutive games before returning Sunday against the Panthers. However, he was never placed on injury reserve during that span. He didn't play any games during that stretch. Not only that, Alexander didn't travel with the Packers to their Week 14 game against the Giants after making trips to Pittsburgh and Detroit, the first two road destinations after the shoulder injury. You see? You see what's going on here, Ocha? There's something, something going, going on. on. Yeah. Yeah. Something hey, going on inter internally. That's why I say he did that on purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He did it on purpose. Yeah. So I, I think I, I think is that we can see where this thing is headed. It's all yeah. it started like uh, Ocho, you know how a couple is start sleeping in separate mm -hmm. beds. Yeah. Now, yep. now, if that's not something that we we talked about, that mm -hmm. you start sleeping in separate beds, it's only a matter of time. Yeah, that's it's it. only a matter of time. He could come on, come on to Cincinnati, boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now you know, don't don't that ain't gonna stop me from trying to go up there and shake the covers up there. Now just got you in another room, but now it get it get harder and harder for you, boy. You know, hey, I you gonna I'm gonna shake the covers for dog. Listen, if you if 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 y'all sleeping in a separate bed, it's already over. Like you said, it expiration date. Nah, ain't, they no don't, point, oh, ain't, no, ain't no point in shaking the covers no more if you're sleeping yeah, in separate beds. But what? I'm like TLC. I ain't too proud to bed. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You want to get out of my face? <laughs> yeah, in the dog. morning of the evening, I ain't too proud to bed. Hey, that ain't that ain't TLC song. That ain't. No, nah, that's, that's, that's 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 SWV. Ain't it? Oh, I ain't oh. too proud to beg. Oh, that's in vogue. I ain't too proud to beg. That's in vogue. I don't know who it is, but I know I, I ain't. My, my music catalog all messed up. Huh? I ain't too proud to beg. Temptations? The Temptations? <laughs> nah, nah. That's... <laughs> <laughs> hey, somebody in the chat, jump. who said that? That is TLC? It is TLC? Yeah. I'm talking about I'm talking about SWV. I'm all I'm all <laughs> off, man. I'm Sister boys, we like them too, Ocho. We like them. Yeah, too. oh they oh, they the real deal. But now. it's just a look, it's just a uh look. And remember, Cameron Diaz says she she wants to normalize sleeping mm. in separate beds. Mm. Now, look, if if she pregnant, I'm snoring, she can't get right. a good night's sleep. Right. She, uh, you, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you I understand. It. It, yeah. It makes sense. yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, I think 
normalize sleeping in separate beds. I say maybe more so after argument. More so after argument, you know, cooler heads prevail. Go to separate rooms. You never go to bed angry. Never go to bed angry. Always yeah. find a way to talk it out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm, nip, I'm, nip, I'm, I'm nip, old makeup guy. Bud. You know, I'm old huh? makeup guy. And I ain't talking about the kind you put on your face. I'm a makeup type of guy. Oh, you yeah. ain't going to be bad at long. Yeah. Oh, you gonna, clearly you something shake. on your mind you want somewhere else. I got you. <laughs> oh, hold this. Take this to bed with you. <laughs> but you know what, Ocho? I think that's an older generation thing because my grand my grandmother and grandfather didn't sleep in the same bed. Because right. remember, I told you I slept with my grandmother. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I that's think right. that's an older generation thing. Right. I know. I know a lot of older <laughs> people that their parents. Uh, uh, when I've said older, I'm talking about my age, and their parents right. didn't sleep together. So I okay. think that's an older generation thing. Um, I think now people automatically assume if you're sleep, sleeping in separate beds, there's something going on. Right. My grandmother and grandfather they have no issues. Right. They, but they just slept in separate beds. So. Well, maybe, to... maybe, maybe we need to adapt to some of the older ways today. Maybe we'll eliminate some of the problems that we have in today's era in society. That maybe being up under each other twenty four seven, maybe it's not a good thing. Well, it wasn't over there twenty four seven because that man was working, <laughs> and normally oh. a lot of times my grandmother was right sided working too, or he mm. was, you know, he was off and my grandmother was doing her thing. So it right. wasn't this twenty four hour. Okay, and there weren't all these other options that were available also right. to either one of them. Now that's right. not to say that you know people didn't get around because they did. Right, uh, right, right. But the right. options that's available to this generation, right, wasn't uh, available to even my generation when yeah. I was coming up, and it right. damn sure wasn't available to my mom and my grandparents' generation. Mm -hmm. So things are a lot different now. Yeah, um, much, and, much, and much different. Much uh, different. Much more, much more difficult. I mean, during, obviously during this this day and age, and in time that we're in now, one of the key things that you need for one is discipline. Yes, discipline. That that's that's the key word. That's the key key word in anything, especially in this day and age, because you have access, social media, uh, over overexposure. Yes, overexposure to anything, and there will always be somebody finer. It was always be somebody with more money. There will always be someone with prettier feet. There will always be someone. Man, with, why with you keep going back car. to feet, man? Damn. Well, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just throwing out all the different things that you'll be able to find out here. Find out here. Why you, you can't know? say eyes? Why you can't say lips? Why you can't uh, say legs? There, okay, why you there can't always say be calves? there. There always why be somebody with say... bigger, bigger lips. Uh, what, what else? There always be someone with a bigger ass. I, I mean, I'm, I'm just, I was trying to hit yeah. on all, all the different, yeah. all, all the different characteristics depending on what people like. And you just you you got to have discipline to understand that if you're locked in, you got to be locked in, and it it it's 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 difficult for a lot of people. You know, I I uh, I teach, I have a I'm you know I do therapy, I do counseling, and I do. You therapy. need to be in therapy with these feet. No, nah, a lot of people come to me to help them with some of the problems that they're having due to the overexposure of of having issues with 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 them. Um, Trying to be on point, and I, I've been I've been guiding people in the right way. So that, that's you, something uh, I, I'm proud of. You probably have rail soaking up feet in vinegar. Have old pickle, oh, nah, old nah, rail nah, pickle, nah, pickle nah, pick. No, rail no, got no, a old no, pickle feet, and you be no, 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 no vinegar, no vinegar. But I, but I do send her to get the fish treatment pedicure, which is which is nice. You know, the little all fish, the, no, 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 on the other, all your yeah, feet. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, 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 what about that big fish when she get home to be gnawing on them? You. Ooh. Old big old <laughs> black striped bass, you. <laughs> That's the fish. <laughs> My bad. I'm about to wake up. I'm tripping. Oh, okay. I, okay. 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 I ain't gonna say that now. Uh, Lamar insists the Ravens are underdog. Isn't taking the bait. The Ravens can clinch the number one seed if they beat the mm -hmm. Dolphins on Sunday. Yeah. The Ravens are three and a half point favorite. When it was pointed out to Lamar that the Ravens are no longer the underdogs, he said, we're the underdogs. We're the underdogs. It was just the team that this team is, the Ravens. We don't know about the Ravens. Now it's, oh, they're the number one team. So we're play, We're we're not paying any mind to that. I feel mm -hmm. like it's bait. That's clickbait. Mm -hmm. Well, Lamar, for the, like the last six weeks, everybody mm -hmm. said that you were the second best. You're the number one team in the AFC. You're the yeah. second best team in the NFL. In the NFL. You just went to the best team's house, kicked them in their ass, and came home. 
Hey. So I don't, you know, it, it, and, and I get embarrassed. it. You know, embarrassed them. I don't, I don't, I, let me, let me tell you how we did it. I know that when I was in Denver, I know what we said publicly. Mm -hmm. Oh, that team is good. Oh, their defense is like this here. Their offense is so good. Mm -hmm. They got a lot of good players. Privately, we're going to kick the ish out of them. Yeah. That's what yeah, we say. We'll I mean, we'll what we, the same in the Super Bowl. Ocho, mm -hmm. we played the Packers. Oh, mm -hmm. man, they got Brett Favre, MVP, three-time yeah. MVP, back to back to back. Oh, they just won the Super Bowl last year. They got Reggie White, all pro. Mm -hmm. They got Leroy Butler. Oh, mm -hmm. they got Brett. They got An Antonio Freeman. They got mm -hmm. Robert Brooks. They got Mark Chamura. They oh, we just hyping them up. We are gonna kick the shit out of you. Yeah, you know I think how come? Well, I, I think it's more frowned upon. I would like players. I wish players were. There are not very many that are that are are keen on doing so. Mm -hmm. Is Giving them, giving team bulletin board material and telling people exactly how they feel instead of being politically correct. <laughs> I, I, they need to bring that back. They need to bring that back. That was Say what you really feel. Yeah, I, I wish players would do that now. <laughs> I would, well, I like think the players like, would is the like coach's D, decision. D, D, you see how Debo and Brad and, and Bradbury were going at it a little bit. Yes. Tell people how you really feel about somebody. If you don't think they're good, say it. It's okay. No, I enjoy, I enjoy the banter back and forth. I, I I love it. I love it. I think we need more of that instead of every answer being this scripted. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, yeah, yeah, man. Just let's have some fun, you know. Uh, before we head on to that, the Temptations did have a song "Ain't Too Proud to Beg" in 1966, and TLC had a song "Ain't Too Proud to Beg" in 1991. Oh, so TLC the the rendition was the original. The rental is the Temptations. Mm-hmm. Okay, I like that. I like that. I just learned something new. Uh, yeah, I, I think the thing is, th that's the only time Mike has ever said anything about Shannon, just make sure, hey, I know you want to say this, I know, but just do me this one solid. Yeah. Don't say anything, just pump him up. I think Mike, we go kick the ass. He said, I know it. He said, I know 84, yeah. I know it. So, you know, I'm pumping him up. Man, Leroy, right. he the tough, he the best strong safety in the game. Leroy Butler? Yeah. If they put him yeah, on yeah. me, I'm going to be the Super Bowl MVP. Oh, right, that's <laughs> what I'm thinking to myself. Nah, I ain't going to lie to you, Ojo. I said, if they, yeah, man, please. They said, well, what if Leroy? I said, boy, if they put Leroy Butler on me, man yeah. to man, and he yeah. covered me for the entire game, I'd empty my bank account, and I'd leave the country and never come back. See, that's the type of talk they need. <laughs> man, you must be out your mind. That's the type they of talk they They put a make. safety on me. And my, that was, my, Ocho, uh, Ocho, that was my absolute prime. Right, right, right. I'm talking right. about Apex. Yeah. I'm talking about Zenith. I'm talking about they knew more. I'm talking about the crescendo. Yeah, I'm right. talking about I'm up here. Bad, please. <laughs> bad, I didn't. Hey, you said the crescendo. You bad, look here, but hold your bad, man. They better stop with me, man. Oh, well, hey, man. I want to be to be played with now. Right. Uh, former Chiefs All Pro returner receiver calls out Mahomes and Kelsey for spoiled behavior. When you're screaming and yelling at your player, that permeates negativity. When you have Passion. what you have. When you have what you have the first five years, that poker face, we know we're going to win at the end. That permeates positivity. Get back to being positive. It's it, it's like my little kids running around for Christmas. We don't uh, we got you the Christmas uh Christmas tree full of presents and you're acting like spoiled brats. What's your take on what uh uh Dante said? The I mean, I like I like what I like, I understand where Dante Hall is coming from. I understand where he's coming from, but Dante Hall, you're not in their shoes. Mm -hmm. You're not putting in the work. You're not understanding the frustration they're going through. You should understand it. You should understand why they're screaming. You should understand why Travis Kelsey is upset. You should understand why Patrick Mahomes is upset. Have you seen what he's been having to deal with? <laughs> I mean, it's common sense. So why even come out saying something like that? Because you understand the emotions and how it feels to go through practice and practice and practice and to go into games and not and have things not come into fruition the way you work it's on them. It's tough. It's tough. It's frustrating. And, and it really it's, is. It's, it's I know. It, I know what that feels like. And the, the Dante <laughs> Hall should know what that feels like. I'm not. I understand what he's what he's saying. You know, saying all the right things. But come on, man. Come on, man. You you play the game. You know why he's screaming. You know why he's frustrated. And at times, it's passion. It's okay mm -hmm. to show it. Don't yeah. bottle that shit up. Don't bottle it up. Let that shit out. It's okay. Let it out. Yeah, let it out. You know, um, Dante Hall. Was the first I know. Dad oh, get credit for the, the human joystick. He was the first to throw up. Yeah, guess what team he did against? 
Y'all? No, y'all. <laughs> Oh, but he did. That, oh, he did a number. Man, they, oh, they, yeah. they, they they blocked us in the back. Man, that was a bull job. You know it. Nah, man. Wait, you you did you ain't play with Al Wilson, huh? I did play with Al. Boy, Al, boy, that was one that was one hit motherfucker there, boy. <laughs> I played with Al. Yeah, uh, got I got Al, Al came in '99. I left and then I came back '0203. So I played three years. Yeah, okay, with Al. okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That damn Al. Oh, but oh, now you talk about some moves. Yeah. Man, he Who, was Dante. Back, Dante. Oh yeah, it's a human joystick. Yeah, he was the real deal. Yeah, man, they, they were the like, okay, deal. whatever. If, when you press two buttons at the same time, whatever yeah. you get, you don't know where that's, that man that's, gonna go. That, that's what that's he him. do. That's him. <laughs> that's him. You're right about that. He was a real deal. Alabama Jalen Monroe Milro says what former is? OC and current Patriots offensive coordinator Bill O'Brien told him he should not be a quarterback. Mm. He asked the reporter, "said How would you feel if I told you you suck?" Mm. Look where I am right now. So who gets the last laugh? Michael Eves like tweeted. Uh, Michael Eves had a great tweet. What Bill O'Brien was really trying to say that he didn't know how to coach such a talent as Jalen Milrow, but instead of addressing his short his own shortcomings, Bill O'Brien tried to project them onto him, onto the uh, player. Sometimes some things uh, that's been happening for decades, especially when it comes to black quarterbacks. Yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. That, that's nothing new. It, it's no. always been that way. Ocho. It's always, it's, always been, it's always it's always been that way. And it will always continue to be that way. It Ocho. will never change. Ocho. Yes, sir. You didn't have people that when you was growing up say you weren't gonna be nothing. So what's oh, different yeah. about this? Exactly. My, my teacher, my teacher's in high school. Still to this day. I see him still to this day. Yes. I, I see him. Man, I love you. Man, what you told me back then, I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that because it lit a fire under, under my ass. Right. I really like that. I don't. I don't see that as some see it as a negative. Some go into the dumps. Right. Some oh I feel bad. Or some oh look what he said about me. Me, me mentally I'm I'm built a little different. But, but let me, I'm, I'm built a little different. You mentally. sure? But here's the thing. Nick Saban told mm -hmm. Trayvon Diggs the exact same thing. Trayvon Diggs came to uh, Alabama as a four star wide receiver. Yeah. He said, son, I think you should move to DB. Mm. Trayvon Diggs is an all-pro DB. That he is. We got to stop like, oh, this. Oh, come on, yes. I right, get right, it. right, 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 right. I get it. Right. But y'all make it seem like only athletes get told that. I'm sure they're, mm -hmm. they're, they're musicians. I'm sure yeah. they're actors. I'm sure yeah. they're entertainers in all walks of life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was told I'm not going to make it. Mm-hmm. I listened to the one person that told me that I was going to be something and I was going to make mm. it. Me. Yeah. yeah. Because what y'all had, y'all couldn't run for me. Y'all couldn't catch for me. Y'all couldn't live for me. Y'all couldn't train for me. So how you can tell me what I can be when yeah. you not me? And those that do tell you when you can't do something, that should be all the motivation you need. I mean, honestly, that shouldn't be your motivation. You should already be motivated to want to do something anyway. But hearing someone say you can do something should be that much more motivating to want to achieve and attain that goal, whatever it may be, and whatever respective craft that it is you do. I like, I like it. Yeah, I Tell love, me what I, I can't do. Thank I you. like it. And then when I, like I do it, it, I mean, all think about it, Ocho. See, my job is not to prove. See, Jalen Moreau's job shouldn't be to prove him wrong. I'm right. going to prove me right. Because mm -hmm. all the people mm -hmm. that told me along the way that, oh, Shannon, you great in high school, but wait till you right. get to college. And when I got to college, wait till you get to the NFL. Mm. All along the way, they got to watch me and say, damn, he said that. Damn. Mm -hmm. He said mm -hmm. he was going to do that. Yeah. He said he was going to be this. He said he was right. going to be that. So why am I going to listen to you what you say? Mm -hmm. When you got no, here's the thing, Ocho. You got no control over what I can or can't do. Do yeah. yeah. Unf the best thing about it, I'm not computer generated, so you don't control anything. Mm. I control what I become, and I know what God told me. I know what I prayed for, and I didn't pray for you to have an opinion about me, me. because yeah. your opinion don't matter about me. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. And that's the thing. People get caught up with. He said, I don't care. Hell, I had women told me I ain't going to be nothing. And. Damn. Okay. Really? Yes. It's okay. Ocho. Okay. Watch. 
Watch. Yeah, they hey, boy, listen. But but women, women vicious, man. Oh, Joe, women vicious. They don't, they don't. They don't. They don't. They don't love. They don't like to see the process, but they love the finished product. Yeah, of course. They don't like the process, but they love the finished product. Ocho, when you're hurt, mm -hmm. what wouldn't you say? Mm. What wouldn't you do? Yeah. So you have to look at it from that. Okay, we're about to break up. I'm going to go my way. I'm going to go her your way. See, when you tell me that, what, what made you say that? Of all the things that you could have said, Right. Because you know I'm going somewhere. You try mm -hmm. to put down in my mm -hmm. mind. Yeah. I don't she, she mad. You mad. Yeah. She mad. Ah, yes. You mad. Yes. You can't contaminate my thoughts because yeah. what you say right now can't undo the 12, 15, 20 years that I thought mm -hmm. that I knew I was going to become something. Right. So one, one you uttering, I ain't going to be nothing. I ain't this. I ain't that. You know, you ain't ish. Mm. Nah. Well, maybe I ain't what ish could have been doo doo, but I ain't with you no more. You know what I'm saying? Ocho, die here with that. <laughs> right, right, right. I like that. Y'all can't break me. I'm unbreakable. You know, you know the funny. You know what the bad part is? A lot of people are full with those words. A lot of people are affected so much by words, especially in today's era, today's society. Oh, he said this, or or she said sure. that. It bothered it. it what happened to sticks and stones may break my bones, but words don't. Everybody's so sensitive and so it like, oh are. my God, you can't say that. Oh my God, what are you doing? Like, so what? It's just it's just words. If it does, if it don't apply, let it motherfucking fly. Exactly. If it don't apply, let it fly. Because my thing is, if Jalen Moreau believed what one man told him mm -hmm. and he let it change, it let him make creep doubt in his own mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you weren't meant to do that anyway. Well, maybe it worked though, because look at him now. Yeah. Maybe he used that as motivation, motivation or extra fuel. Because look at him now. Yes. The play that he made against Auburn. Yeah. The play, uh, the play that he made against number one Georgia, and mm -hmm. to get his team in the college football playoff. Yeah. Yeah. So, young man, don't worry about what somebody tell you what you can't do. Believe what you told yourself you could do. And that's all that yeah. matters. That's it. Uh, the Daily Hustle said, this has been the most passionate Ocho I've ever been with the honest critique. He's finally get, he's finally gave in. Ocho been me? on his thing today. He been on his what, thing. What up? Me? Yeah, you been on I your be, grind I just, today. I been, I been me, though. I, I, I been me. I been me. I, that's what he's saying. Always... He's saying, you, this is the most passionate Ocho I've ever been. And he, and with honest critiques, okay. I was, you can, I was that's, honest that's, that's that's what I've been trying to tell you. What you, I, you ain't, been, I ain't been honest before. Sometimes no. they feel you 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 misrepresent the truth. Oh my bad, my bad. <laughs> my uh, bad. today is Denzel's 69th birthday. Hey, what's today? Hey, uh, hey, what you got? Uh, that, that's, hey, that, that's my boy. That's my boy. Name. I. I I got a story. I know I got a story. Go ahead. Go ahead and tell your story. What you got? Ain't nobody. Hey, well, ain't really no story. Nobody can say they got cursed out by Denzel Washington except me. What did he curse you out for? Acting a fool. Acting a fool when I was tough when I was uh this well, you know how to had a you know how to had a the NFL team acting disgruntled and was trying yeah. to get out of Cincinnati. You're right. And, and the Redskins are off of Cincinnati two first round picks. And the Bengals I and mean, Mike Brown was like, uh uh. You ain't finna nah. set that precedent. Think all you gotta do is act a fool and we're gonna trade you up out of here. Man, bring sit your ass back down. <laughs> so he, he he was getting on me. I, we were sitting courtside. I had my son with me. Uh Lil CJ was, I don't know how little oh, CJ was about maybe. Well, damn, mother, you look like you 17. What year was this? Was huh? the internet even available back then? <laughs> Come on, man. Don't do that. That I'm just saying, don't, don't you don't damn. Don't do me like that. Yeah, but uh man, he was oh, Joe, cussing what my year ass was out. This? I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember. My, I, I I took. I, I got. Matter of fact, I got tickets from Kobe. Kobe. Kobe got me course I see because you know I wasn't paying no course I see's. Not back then. Shit. But that 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 was that was that was that was, that was a great experience, man. And was, being able to sit next to Denzel and getting my ass cussed out. My son don't know what's going on. He looking. He looking the wrong way. Yeah. He. Uh. I mean, I'm looking at it. That looked like it's about 2009. Yeah. 
Okay, yeah, around then, maybe two thousand eight, two thousand nine. Because I remember I was I was in trouble. The bank, I man, I was I was trying I was trying to get up out of there. We had we had just had a losing season, and I was trying to do things behind closed doors. And obviously, you no, know, they always leak shit. Somebody always leaks some, and it got the dance. Well, you can't keep them behind closed doors because you already be talking about you be told a toes, you be on toes and elbows and all kind yeah. of holes. Ain't not ain't nothing wrong. Ain't listen. We gonna get we gonna get you on some toes now. We gonna get you on mm -hmm. some toes. I don't know who we pig gonna, feet. I'll be somebody. on them. I'll be on them pig feet hard. Listen, if you can eat pig feet, if you can eat raccoon soup and all the other stuff, and if you can eat roadkill and whatever else you be eating, <laughs> you you can suck on some toes. Hey, but I'm just saying, Ocho. But see, you off the muscle with that, Ocho. Can we can we work up to that? There is no reason at our big age that we can't meet somebody on the first date and go all in. What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? So you want me to shove wrong? all my chips? I mean, excuse me, all my tongues uh, to the to be the middle of the table? Yes, Dude. yes. When when you play, I don't even play poker. I ain't even no gambler. You know how you when you all in? Yeah, or you put all all way. in. But yeah, Ocho, you, normally you when they go all on. in, I mean, sometimes they try to bluff you off a of hand. But a lot of times right. when they go all in, Ocho, they got they they got they got they got it. They got the goods. Nah, nah. Listen, life is short. And you never know when it's time to go. So whenever you have an opportunity, you need to go all in. Well, I need I need to see, you know, I need to see the flop. You know, the flop is the first three cards. Right. And I hell, I might need to see the turn, which is the okay. next card. And then the river's okay. on the end. So you 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 speak in terminology that I don't understand. <laughs> I was with you for a minute, but I don't gamble, so I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, I mean, I, mean, I don't know, I don't know what you're so, you know, I've, I, I've known Denzel because his son used to train with my trainer, uh, John David, yeah. when he went to yeah. Morehouse. And so yeah. I met him a couple of times. And then uh, just this year when LeBron broke the record, uh, mm -hmm. he was at the game. And I got yeah. an opportunity to talk to him. And I hadn't actually, I hadn't seen him yeah. personally since uh, uh, John David was a student at Morehouse. Mm -hmm. And so okay. it was great to catch up with him. And I got an opportunity to meet his wife. Uh, John David's mom, Pauletta. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it was it was great talking to her and meeting her. And uh, Denzel has, has been great. You yeah. know, actually, they filmed the movie Glory in Savannah. Hey, Glo man, listen. That was his you, first. Speak, that was his first role. He wrote, we, wrote we, best supporting we, as, actor. Yeah. Actor with yeah. Matthew Broderick was the lead. When we talk about movies, and I don't mm -hmm. think a lot of people in the chat have seen Glory. If you were to ask me. The name, my favorite Denzel movies, Glory's always been number one. Mm -hmm. It's always been number one because Denzel is one of the few actors. A lot of people love to say he played the same character. Well, he played the same character to you because you don't watch the rest of his movies. Glory, he had range. John Q is a completely different character. Yeah, for sure. Who he was in Glory. And then when he's in Fences, Fences is a completely different oh, character. Oh, man, Fences from the person crazy. in John Q in Glory. That is the range in the Denzel that I've grown to love. And if you ask people what's your favorite Denzel movie, they say the same stuff. They say Training Day. They Malcolm say, uh, X. Uh, Mal Malcolm X. They say Man on Fire. He's a great method actor. He's one of the method actors. So him playing the role of somebody else it's easy because it's art. That's what he does. Yeah, and he gets in the character. He gets in the character extremely well. Yeah. When you watch Training Day, that's Denzel. If you mm -hmm. sit down and talk with him, that's him. Mm -hmm. He's not even acting. He's just yeah. being himself. And you would never understand it until you actually meet him and sit down and have a conversation with him. There are a few people on earth, and one of your good friends, one of my good friends, is one of them as well, that can command the ear when they talk. Mm -hmm. Denzel is one of them. Absolutely. Ray Lewis is another one. Yep. Deion Sanders is, is is another one that can command the ear when they talk. I'm talking about it's captivating when they speak and the way they word things and the dialogue. It just it's it's unbelievable in a sense. I don't even know. I don't know how to explain it. It's something about Ray. When Ray get to preaching or Ray get to talking to you or Dion get to talking to you. And we talk about it in a serious manner. Not not yeah. the Dion everybody on the chat got to see. Yeah. I'm talking about when it's something that got to do oh, with yeah. business or, mm -hmm. or, or, or something that have to do with life or relationships or something like that. Though it's unbelievable seeing them get in that mode of um, seriousness. Your top five uh, movies was Inside Man. I love that movie with Clive Owen. Oh and, yeah, uh, that's a good one. And and uh, Jodie Foster, uh, yeah, Chiwetel Ejiofor, and yeah. uh, Christopher Plummer. 
Mm-hmm. Um, oh, no, these are mine. So I got training day. My top five was training day, Malcolm X, Fences, Crimson Tide, Cry Freedom. Wait, I don't know you, if you remember Cry you Freedom. You should do your top 10. You should do okay. top 10. Okay, well, five here. ain't enough. I got Inside Man, okay. Devil in Blue Dress, Harlem Nights, Man on Fire. I, I Look, I love American Gangster. I love yeah. uh, 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 Deja Vu. Mm-hmm. I love, you know, I mean, look, it's so hard. Hurricane, mm-hmm. it is just oh, so hard. Ruben Carter, Ruben yeah, Carter. Man, it's just so one. hard because he plays the role so well. Well, yeah. Um, a flight. I flight, mean, <laughs> listen, flight was, flight was phenomenal. Uh, a soldier story. But, yeah, soldier story. That's old school. But, I mean, Pe- look, Pelican, Pel- hey, listen, Pelican, Pelican Brief. Brief. Yes. Pelican Brief. Mm-hmm. All right, my, my, my top 10, obviously, number one is Glory. Okay. Two and John Q. Three is Fences. Mm-hmm. Four, for me, is Preacher's Wife. Okay. Then I'm going Malcolm X, Man on Fire, Remember the Goddamn Titans. Okay. I can, I can get down with that. Inside Man. Yeah. Then I got Flight. Then I have Training Day. Yeah. Hey, we ain't even mentioned American Gangster. Think about it, back again. That's but that's 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 <laughs> Denzel. That's him. He don't really he didn't have to do much, you know. Yeah. He's in character. Yeah. He's pulled. He's he's portraying Frank Lucas. Yeah. But it's still Denzel. I, Mo I don't know Bell how to Blues. Mo Better Blues Bell. is good, boy. Yeah. Him and Spike. See, see was, people don't people don't remember him. That was really that's the only movie I can remember. Uh, he played Devil in uh, Blue Dress. Yeah. Uh, which, which was a comedy. Yeah. Uh, with the uh. What's the guy's name? Mouse. Who? Uh, what's the black guy's name? He from Denver. Went to Denver East High School. Ooh. What's the uh, actor uh, in uh, Devil in Blue Dress? That's my guy. And I, Don Cheadle. Oh, Don, Don. Cheadle is Mouse. Yeah, yeah. That's my that's my man. Yeah, Don I couldn't think of his actor. name to say. He from Denver. I see. I I used to see him all the time. Went to Denver East High School. Man. Mm-hmm. But then I mean. It just goes to show you, mm-hmm. Denzel, how long he's been great. Yeah, yeah. That's I mean, it shows you how long he's been great, not good, great. Great, yeah, great. Yeah. And so you know, I, 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 I love. I'm like I said. I mean, I've seen just about everything. You know, everything that uh, Philadelphia. I don't know if you remember the Philadelphia yeah. with uh, Philadelphia uh, Tom Hanks. Tom yeah. Hanks is another one that got range. Yeah. Woo! I mean, big and flat, and we, you know, oh man, Philadelphia with him and and Road to Perdition, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Forrest Gump. I mean, look, yeah. I, I look, man, listen, oh. look, those are some of my my favorite actors. When we talk about Reigns, Tom Hanks, obviously Denzel. Uh, remember, you know, Ed, Edward Norton. Yeah, Ed Norton. Yeah, Ed, Ed, Edward Norton Primal from Fear from, from Primal Fear. Yeah, Primal Fear. Um. Uh, 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 what was that movie he was in where he was a gay that had all them tattoos? Oh, my, uh, history, American History X. America, America, yeah, man, that was a good one. That 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 was a good one. Yeah. What about um, God, it's slipping my mind. Uh, McAvoy, um, James McAvoy. Man, you yeah, saw Split. You saw yeah. the movie Split. Oh yeah, and, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Crazy, crazy range. Yeah, they got. I mean, guys that got you know another guy that doesn't get the credit for the range and he's passed. Robin Ooh. Williams. Robin oh, Williams Robin, had crazy Robin Williams. range. He was great. A real deal. Yeah, I, look, look, I love real him. Real. I love it's, Samuel it's Jackson. Outfire, the Peter Pan. Yeah, the, um, from Samuel Jackson when where he, he was when he was. Remember Samuel Jackson was holding up McDowell's. Yeah, he was sweeping the floor from the yeah. time he was Gator. He was uh-huh. in all Star Wars. He was in the Marvel. He, you know. What's the one where he was the teacher? Oh, uh, uh, Coach Carter, a professor. No, 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 no. Oh, we Samuel, Samuel Jack- Jackson. Yeah, I was talking about Robin. Robin I'm, I'm oh, you talking about? about uh, what was the movie? The- what, you talking about? Uh, he was Mister. Uh, not Doubtfire. No, no, no. I know. I know exactly what you're talking about. It was more of a serious movie. I know he was yes. a professor. I can't remember the name of it. What was that? I can't. Oh, I can't think of it. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. But uh, man, Ocho, you have twenty minutes to survive. To twenty minutes for a hundred million dollars, yeah. To survive one, you got to survive a bear, a tiger, a croc, or a hippo. Which one you? Which one you take? Take it. We all dead. You crazy? We all. 
Come on, Unk, man. Mm-mm. For one, hippo. You're not, you're not, you're not, you're not surviving. First of all, the hippo is the most dangerous because they kill more people in Africa than any other. In Africa than any any other animal. Yeah, they're you territorial. Know, that's why, that's, yeah. why, that's why you said, you saw, that's the first thing Dead I Dead Poet Society. Said, you're not surviving. That's what Robin Weaver was in, Dead Poet Society. Somebody just Dead put it up in the chat. Dead Poet Society, that's it, that's it, that's it. Yeah. All right, number two. Patch uh, Adams was great too. What was it? What was it? What was the three other three animals? You get a bear, a tiger, a croc, or a hippo. Oh well, croc would be your best bet. Thank you. I croc got it. Best bet. I just. I, I just, got yeah, him. I, I, I got him, Ocho. I got to hear it. I just got to get him on his. back. All I got to do, hey, cause see, all of his pressure is doing this. Yeah, in the jaws. Once I yeah, keep but, got his mouth closed, I got him. Flip him on wait, his back. Hold, hold on. Do you know how strong a gator is? Do you, do you know, know how, how strong big? that for hundred mil? Man, uh, man, you gonna get yourself hurt, man. You gonna have nah, a missing nah. arm. You gonna have a missing nah. leg. I'm gonna have a hundred million. I'm gonna have get, and I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have gator tail for lunch. So you gonna, gonna have, have gator million. tail. You are gonna have a hundred mil with one arm. Hey, hey, Ocho, I got this. I got uh, this. No, you don't. Un do, please don't underestimate the strength. He underestimate me. Animal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have gator tail, and I'm gonna have me some fresh boots. Uh, we talk about animals, man. I'm it's an animal. Animals. You do realize the most dangerous animal ever created is a man. No. They cause more destruction than any animal ever. Yes. Yes. You, when we when we when we when we are equipped to destroy only, everything else. Only rats, equipped, only, only rats and mosquitoes <laughs> have caused more destruction. <laughs> hey. So you, you, you I'm taking my chance. With, you, I'm taking my chance with the crop. Give me the crop. Hey, Give me the crop. No, you, no you're, not, you're not gonna make it, man. I'm gonna make it. Yeah. There, there's so many different variables that come into play. The size of the croc. Are you in water or you on land? Yeah. You, you're not gonna. Which one? I want him on land. Uh, you're not gonna make it, boss. I got him. I got him. You, know you know how long twenty minutes? Do you know how long twenty minutes is? Ocho, once I get him on his back, I'm gonna say, "Hey, I'm gonna put get him on his back." How are you gonna get him on his back? Watch. Don't worry about it. I can't tell you. Cause they might put you to it and then you get my hundred million. I ain't telling you. You but you'll see. <laughs> you'll see. Man, you you tripping. I hey, got him, Ocho. You sound like the dudes on Twitter talk about, oh, if it was me and a gorilla, you better help the gorilla. Cause I could whoop a gorilla. <laughs> Not understanding the strength and power that these animals possess. Well, first of all, a uh, 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 chimpanzee is two to three times. A chimpanzee. Is two to three times as strong as the average man. A silverback yeah. is eight times. Time, yeah. I don't think people understand that. They just look nah. at videos and thinking like, just be talking. That joke all yeah. muscle. Do you see? All muscle. Man, all no. Muscle. I, don't, I don't want no part of the silverback. I don't want no part of the silverback. I don't want no part of no grizzly bear. I don't want no part of no tiger. Because At you have all. to understand what they, they can take down. I mean, even the crocodile. Crocodile is less dangerous. I mean, you. Now we're talking about in the in the habitat. So oh, I, okay, I feel okay. comfortable, more comfortable on the ground than yeah. I do. The hippo is diff, just as dangerous Man, anywhere. Hey, land or water. Yeah. I don't want no part of that. A bear can kill a bear, a bear and tiger, they're just as dangerous on either. Land uh, or water. Yeah, yeah. All, all no four can kill you on the land, but I like my chances better against the crocodile on the land as opposed to any of these other animals on land. You got no chance with the hippo, the bear, and plus, how like you said, how big is the space? <laughs> because no, you got no chance. You got no chance against a tiger or I don't care if they ever give a damn how big the space is because once it sees you, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Think about this. You you um you you ever had cats before? Yeah. Have you ever seen a cat's reflexes? Just a regular domestic cat, domesticated yeah. oh, cat. Yes. Yes. You see the reflexes. Yeah. Now imagine the reflexes of a lion or tiger. Oh, Joe. It's even you can worse. You take a cat. You can take a cat and hold it by his legs, and you got him. He's this far. Right. And you drop him. That you land on his feet. Crazy. Land Crazy. on his feet. Unbelievable. Oh, he got oh. That's why they say, oh, he got cat like reflexes. Reflexes. Yeah. <laughs> they don't it. say that's any other, they don't say dog. They dog. don't say any other animal. Mm -hmm. They say cat like. Yeah, that's what they say about me off that line. Off oh, that line of <laughs> Jose Cardoza said, Uncle Ocho love the show. What's your guy's top five actors or actresses? Uh top five. 
Um, for me, I got to go, Ocho, for me, I'm going with the actors and actresses that I've seen. So right. I can't go Bogart and I can't go, you know, um, Brando. Oh, you, went, you went way back. Because the only thing I've ever seen of Marlon Brando, I'm talking about, uh, yeah, I've seen the, you know, the, uh, the uh, what you call them, Godfather movies. But right. the last movie that I actually saw him that I, that Madden was the, the island of Dr. Moreau. And mm -hmm. it wasn't very good. So anybody right. that saw Brando in his last movie role, the island of Dr. Moreau, it wasn't very good. Right. He had gotten, let himself get out of shape. But, it, and so, but I'm going to go with, like, I've seen in my time, I like Denzel. I like Tom Hanks. I like uh, Robin Williams. Mm. I like Daniel Day Lewis. Hey, that's my guy. And I like, I go Sam Jackson for me. Women, I'm gonna go Viola Davis. Hey, I'm gonna go. Uh, what's the uh, Viola Davis one for me? What's that lady name? She's been uh, Michelle, not Michelle. What's the other one name? She Meryl Street. Oh yeah, Gore Real Meryl. Deal. Yeah, Real deal. man, Gore Meryl. Real deal. I'm going. Uh, ooh. Who else you got? Jody Foster. Good one. Good one. Mm, 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 mm. Many women is not nearly as easy. It's hard. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's for hard. women. Oh, and I forgot. I forgot one of the guys that I really like, Anthony Hopkins. Oh, yeah. Anthony's good. Really good. Really Girl good. Street. Really good. I oh man, I can't. Oh Lord, have mercy, Ocho. Women, women, women. Come on now. It's, it's difficult. You know what? You know who I like, Ocho? Who Octavia that? Spencer. Octavia is good. I love Octavia's Octavia. Good. I like and Octavia. you know what? Octavia is really good. I was gonna be snide, but I ain't gonna say nothing about that man. Why? I take Angela Bassett. Very nice. It's Tina Turner. Yeah, she plays some good roles, mm -hmm. especially in um, Wait Next Hell when she yeah. burnt that. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, good roles. Well, my 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 five my five uh favorite actors for me, obviously number one for me is Daniel Day Lewis. I've I've said that many of times. Mm -hmm. Uh, those in the chat, you know Christoph Waltz. Please mm -hmm. tell me who Christoph Waltz is. Yes. If you don't, please Google him. Uh, Denzel Washington, of, of course. Daniel Day Lewis. And I like Edward Norton. Bro, you I can't love... have Daniel Day Lewis twice. I said him. I said him already. Yeah, that was your first one. Okay, okay. My my bad. My bad. Uh, Edward Edward Norton and James McAvoy. I know okay. everybody in the chat. I know you know who James McAvoy is. He's the real. MFF and deal. <laughs> the real deal. As far as women go, you know, Meryl Streep is my first. Yeah. Uh, my second would be Claire Danes. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure some of you that have seen the movie Temple Grandin, uh, Claire Danes is the real deal. She, I forgot the sitcom she was on as mm -hmm. well. Um, yeah. Number three for me. You like Christopher Waltz and Inglorious Bastards and uh, Django, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, he's, over, he's amazing. He, he's great. Yeah, very good, very good actor. And um, the Hateful Eight. I don't know if you saw the Hateful Eight. Mm -hmm. Christoph Waltz is in the Hateful Eight too with yep. Samuel ja with Sam yep. with Samuel Jackson. Very mm -hmm. good movie. Um, God, leave women is hard. I got to go with um, with Angela Bassett as well. Mm -hmm. Scarlett Johansson, Julia Roberts. Yeah, Julia is unbelievable. Julia Roberts. But I, I I don't think people don't realize. I think for me. Jodie mm -hmm. Foster doesn't get the credit that she deserves, right? Because she was nominated for an award, I think, at like fourteen, right? And then in Silence of the Lambs, yeah, Anthony Hopkins, man, that Clarice Starlin, Clarice. <laughs> oh, what about it's it, it's so many, you know? I, I got to go with Miss Viola Davis as well. Yeah. Oh no! Oh snap! What about um? 
Namdi, Namdi's wife. Um, okay, oh, Washington. Kerry Washington. She, yeah. she's she's good. She's mm -hmm. good. She's good. I think the roles that they get aren't as prominent as right. You know the the Claire Danes and the Meryl Streeps, but they yeah Meryl Streep. Yeah, I mean, it's, but I, I think really what has good. happened now is that when we see Meryl Streep, we already think okay, that role is good. That's Oscar. So yeah. we don't really, oh, yeah. we don't, I, like yeah. like I said, a lot of these, you know, every role is not, but it's just like, it's just something about Meryl because she's been nominated so many times. Mm -hmm. right, it's kind of right. like Denzel, they give such an outstanding performance. We just, yeah. even though the role might not have been meant for an Oscar, mm -hmm. they give you Oscar worthy. Oscar performance. worthy, yeah, most definitely. Uh, every time. You know, you know, my, my boo thing or Regina, you know, Regina yeah. Hall. Oh, that's your boo thing now. Now let me know if you want me to put a word in for you. No, I would you put another don't, in. Don't, Regina don't, don't, King is another one. Yeah, Regina. Yay, Regina King. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. People are uh, Pam Greer. Uh, Patrick Willery asked, "Oh, would you entertain the idea of going on Bear Grylls and Ocho? Would you? Would you go on Hot Ones and Ocho? That's a lot of money to, uh, for the swear jar tonight. Yeah, you know, you know, that is some money. You know, that a lot of money for that. Wait, money for what? All them curse words." I ain't even cursed tonight. What you talking about? They, yeah. They been keeping count. I ain't been keeping count. They been keeping count. I guarantee you, I ain't cursed more than twice. Well, well, don't worry about it. Put it in the jar. That's only $10. <laughs> uh, Sidney Portier. People got Sidney Portier. You know uh, what? Who we left Sydney off? Sidney Portier was the real deal. You know who yeah. we left off, Ocho? Who? Hillary Swank. Man, what you know about Hillary Swank, man? Million Dollar Baby. But her first what? Oscar came for Boys Don't Cry about Brandon Tina. I ain't see that one. Nah, I remember Million Dollar Baby. I saw Million Dollar Baby. You got, no, you got to see it, Ocho. Wait, you what's got the first to see called? Boys Don't it? Cry. You got to see this movie. You got to see this. Boys Don't Cry. Wait, with Hillary Swank? Hillary Swank. Baby, you seen the movie Boys Don't Cry Before? Okay, she ain't seen that. You gave, you gave us something to watch. Man. It was good? She is amazing. It's based on a true story. Wait, do I need tissue? You're going to need tissue at the end. Oh, shit. You're going to need you tissue know, at you the know end. I, you know I get emotional now. I can't, you can't be having me. You seen the dash? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to cry. You gonna see it? You gonna cry? I'm ready. And like I said, it's a, it's a true story. Right. Yo, what about Sandra Bullock? Oh, I like Sandra Bullock. I like Sandra, Sandra Bullock. Bullock. Yeah, yeah. Sandra um, Bullock. I'm trying to think who else. Yo, what what about Monique? Would you, would you put oh, Monique, Monique in the category? When she, oh, but but she wasn't in. I mean, she wasn't in enough roles. But when she played that right. role, which one? Precious. Precious. Oh man. Uh, that was that was a performance. Yeah. That was a performance. That's right. that's acting. Yeah, uh, that was acting. Jane Jane Fonda, but Jane, I mean, she had some roles nine to five, I think nine to five with Lily Tomlin and all mm -hmm. those. But she was a little bit before my time. Um, like I said, I'm kind of staring, you know, to like my 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 era that I remember going to see and watching them. Um, although I'm a little bit older than you. Uh, yeah, Ooh. man. Spe Angelina, speaking of uh, speaking Michelle, of acting, Michelle Pfeiffer, Angelina oh, Jolie, oh, oh, oh Sh Sharon you know Stone, Sharon no. Stone, who Charlize Theron, yo, and Monster, and Monster. Did she play that Ali Warnos? Yeah, Big Ali, yeah. Big Ali ain't play the drum. Big Ali hey. ain't play. She put that hey, twenty two on him. She put that, that thing was, on him. Her that lying was ass. That was <laughs> lying, classic. Her lying ass. That was classic. She was that was the right name because she was a monster. Yeah, that was classic. Yeah, baby. Damn. Oh, what about what Taraji, about Holly? Taraji, Meg Taraji Ryan, P. Hansen, Meg nice. Ryan, Meg Ryan. Well, well, shit. We might if we we Meg <laughs> Ryan. We should have went goddamn um Charlie's Angels. Um, yeah. Uh, Cameron Diaz. Oh yeah. I mean, hell, little... hell, Lucy Lou. No, nah, look, Lucy. She ain't better than enough, Ojo. No. Sally Fields. Yeah. I, I, I mean, Sally feel cool. I can, hey, I can go. Throw oh, back you know, oh, and we forgot, we forgot. I go oh, far, I, oh, I go, I go, I, oh boy, hey, the last, last king, king of Scotland, last king of Scotland. Yeah, boy, Edie, I mean, that Edie, I that was a good one. That was a good one. I can go throw oh, back too. 
Ocho. You know who we forgot? Who? who? Al Mofo Pacino. Yo. Hell, if we go on Al Pacino, we might as well go Robert De Niro too. <laughs> yes, yes. We ain't put Leo in there, Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh shit! We see, I uh, see. Now yeah, you mean, got you got my oh, you got got my, you didn't got my memory jogging now. But see, here's the thing, though, Ocho. When you limited to five, now you're talking about, and I'm just we just limited to five of people that that we watched. Man, we ain't put Humphrey Bogart. Right. Oh, we ain't put none of those. Yeah, we ain't put none of those. That's that's James no Cagney, Jimmy Stewart. We ain't putting none of them. Man, listen, I can go back. I can go. I can. I can go back further. I can go back to the Ethel Waters, the Lena Horn, yeah, Cab Calloway, Fats Domino. Man, don't man, don't make me open it. Don't make. So you, we, saw I, green, you, you saw Green Pastures? I did not. Stormy weather? Nope. Uh, Cabin in the Sky. I know about a ribbon in the sky. <laughs> Listen, tell tell <laughs> ass, tell tell one of them. These are old school movies. This is what my my grandma had me watching. Stormy Weather with mm-hmm. Lena Horn, uh, Cabin in the Sky. I think Ethel Waters and uh, is it Gabe? Ocho? Gabe? Yeah. Neither one of them mentioned Tom Cruise. Oh, sh- I forgot all about Tom. Jamie Fox. Oh, hey, Jamie. Jamie's a ranger boy. Jamie, Jamie rangy boy. Yeah, he is. Jamie is rangy. Yeah, yeah. Idris oh, Alba, Morgan Freeman. Oh, we forgot. Oh, we gotta Shawshank, go. no, Shawshank, no, we... Shawshank Redemption. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Wait, listen, we'll be here all day. Yeah, yeah. We'll be Shawshank. here all day. Cause... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll be here all day. Uh, Matthew Young, I'm usually a vodka man, but I just ordered a bottle of Laportier by Shea just to support you. Matthew, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And now when you get your bottle and you taste it, I need you to jump back in the chat and let me know what you honestly think. Upper King 8, background looking better, Ocho. Success, nothing less, nightcap crew worldwide. But they talking about my background? Oh, yeah, my yeah, camera. Nice, hey, I, I, nice. I, I, finally, I finally got my camera fixed. I like to apologize for those that have been, been watching me sometimes, and sometimes my camera ain't right. It's a little cloudy. Listen, I tried to get the cheapest camera possible. As you can see tonight, everything is HD, 4K, uh, 1080p, or whatever. I don't understand all that technology shit, but I look good, and uh, I ain't got no haircut, but I look good. That's all that yeah. matters. No place underscore like home underscore uh, underscore home donated fifty dollars. Says I I'm, I super support the channel. Just took a shot of Laporte while smoking a a bomb beater. I appreciate the support. I'm sure Ocho appreciate. Is that your cigar, Bomb beater? Not boy Vita. Yeah, the good life. Yeah, that's one of my. That's my line. That's my line. Okay. Appreciate that. Appreciate, appreciate we that. appreciate the support. Now he's want to ask a question. Devin Hester, the, reper- the re- uh, King of the Return specialist, Deion Sanders, prime time of the human joystick, Dante Hall. As NFL players, who you picking? Well, I look, gotta go. I got, I Devin Hester is the greatest Devin return Hester. ever. Yeah. He's the greatest return ever. Yeah. Now, as far as just like shake you up, ain't nobody touching Dante Hall. Dante no. Hall was bar- what Barry Sanders, Sanders was to a running the back. kick return game. He was there as a kick returner, right, right, returner. Right. And normally you don't teach a returner to do all that herky jerky, just like mm-hmm. hit the hole. But man, that joker there, man. Listen, he put a lot Dante of Hall, he dirt. made he made moves with a purpose. He yeah. wasn't making moves just to make a move. He making moves nah. to go north and to go north. He might gotta go east and west, but he making the moves east and west to get north. Uh Harry donated a hundred dollars. I'm putting a hundred dollars on the Browns, Lions, Super Bowl. What's up, Uncle Ocho? Wait, wait, Super Bowl? What you playing, Madden? <laughs> <laughs> that man said he, hey, he, hey, he must be. He tried to retire from work because a hundred dollars on one of them, on them getting to the Super Bowl and one of them winning it. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna pay him some big bucks and no whammy. A lot, a lot of money, a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, forgot about Eric Metcalf was a great return of Mel Gray. Mm-hmm. Uh, who else we got? Pimp and Sneaks, please answer my question. How do you guys feel about fans coming up to players out in public when you're with your family? I'm a huge fan of you guys on and off the field. I love it. If anybody, if anybody is in the chat, I'm sure it is, that have met me before, I apologize for invading your space. People walk up to me, I told, I told you before, we talked about it before. Man, I, man, I Act like I done known people 30 years. Act like right. I, just, I done just got out of jail. Man, I'm hugging and man, trying to sh- don't shake my hand, man. Bring your ass in here, man. Right. 
that it, it, it's weird and it throws people off sometimes because I always greet everybody with a I love you and a hug and we sit there and hold a conversation like I'd have known their ass all my life. Before I answer that, my part of the question, please make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. You can subscribe to Nightcast uh, feed and the Nightcast podcast. You can also get it through the Club Shay Shay feed. Just do us a favor. Make sure you subscribe to a Nightcap. We've also pinned Shea by Laportier at the top of the chat. The holidays right around the corner. New Year's, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, President's Day, whatever you whatever, whatever, whatever you want to celebrate, Laportier is the drink that you can celebrate with. Uh back to the question. Let me let me find that. Uh oh, okay, he's asking coming up. Look, the only thing that I hate is that when people come up and say, hey, you're going to take a picture with me or sign this autograph. Damn, like that? You see you see the Thank you. Thank you. No, bro, can you ask? Hey. That, was, that, was, that was aggressive. Yes! And that's how people come up. Like, hey, take a picture with me. Or sign, mm. sign the autograph. Oh, you're going to sign an autograph for me. <laughs> oh, you really? You think so? Mm. That's crazy. Yeah! And please... Hey, I'm gonna call. Let me call my husband. Let me call this. I don't want to be on your. I don't want to be on Facetime. How about we just take a picture together? Right, right, right. And let's. I I accept. I man. I, yeah, maybe I'm a little different because I'm not in public much. But when I am, man, I'm I'm all in. I mean, I'm Facetiming people, acting like man, where you at? We out here having fun, <laughs> sitting at fucking home and shit. I just, dude, I'm. And because it's 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 very seldom that that I'm out. So when I am, I be I be ready for whatever. Hold on. Okay. Uncle, uh, hey, uh, hey, Jack said, hey, Uncle Nocho, love the show here since day one. Can you please wish my uh wish my girl a happy birthday, Whitney? I wish Ocho could sing. Whitney, hey, Jack. I don't know what his uh, real name is, but that's his. Uh, uh, no, we can't sing. And. Uh, Whitney, he wanted to wish you a happy birthday. We want to wish you a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Enjoy the, hopefully you enjoy this day, or if it's tomorrow, enjoy the day and many more to come. So happy birthday, Whitney. Happy birthday, Whit. Turn up. Uh, Marvin Bracey Williams Jr. donated, and he's asking, I appreciate y'all giving track. I thought that was you, Marvin. And that's Marvin. Tell Damn. Marvin, Ray, tell Marvin, stop being scared to race me, man. I'm going to do smoke you. I appreciate y'all giving track and field some love on the podcast. Nah, bro, we know. Hey, look, that's my favorite sport to watch. So I know, you know, the 400 meters, you know, look, I, I, I'm, I'm a meter. I like the 400, anything, 400, 200, 100 meters, the 1500. I like that. I, I like that too. But I just hey. love track and field. I love the competition. Yeah. I, I love, I love track. Obviously, you know, my, my daughter's at University of Kentucky running right now. You ain't run no track, though. Who? You, uh, Ocho Cinco. You I, ain't no hour. You can't turn hold your on, head all the way around. On. I beat Mar. I beat Marvin racing in the hundred though. Ask him. Ask him in the chat. Ask him what happened when we <laughs> raced at uh, Anson Park in Miami. Blew, blew right by him. He didn't know I was that fast. You not? Ask, ask, hold on. Ask Fred Curley what I did to him. Oh, Joe. Ask you him. see the difference between them. See, like four three is fast for us. I I'm not four three. I them run guys run. I, I mean, I ran. I ran four one. I ain't run no four three. <laughs> I ran four one. Them guys, I mean, them guys, if they run 4-3 flat, they're going to be disappointed. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And boys, <laughs> they running 4-2, 4-1-8. Hey, the 40-yard dash for the, <laughs> hey, the boys is they drive phase. Yes. After 40. It yeah. might, they might, they might run 3-9-4 flat something. Yeah, yeah. Easy. With a yeah. good start. Easy. Marvin, I love you, baby. Hope everything is good, man. We're going to cross paths. Appreciate pass it, man. Get here. Hopefully you have a great year. Uh, how you don't have Dan Campbell coach of the year when the Lions have been bad since I've been alive 30 years without a division? <laughs> one pride. You're right. Dan Campbell has been unbelievable. That's a when he one. came in there, he said, we're going to bite off kneecaps. We go, hey, we, we kick it ass and take a name. And here they are, top of the N NFC North. Congratulations. Yeah, that ain't. Hey, I mean, yeah, they've been, they've been bad a long time. They've had some good players. Good yeah. players. You know, uh, I'm old enough to remember when they drafted Billy Sims. Who won the Heisman at Nebraska? Excuse me, Oklahoma. I'm sorry. Uh, Barry also um, wore that number. Uh, a good friend of mine, uh, Jay Ball, was a nose tackle. Uh, who did Robert Porsche with the South Carolina State? 
they've had some, you know, obviously Megatron and Matthew Stafford. Uh, uh, I know, you know a good friend of mine who's in the Hall of Fame, Lim Barney. He wore 20. It's just something about that 20. Unfortunately, nobody else is going to be able to get it now because Lim wore it, uh, uh, Billy Sims wore it, and Barry wore it. So they've taken it out of circulation now. But, uh, yeah, obviously Dan Campbell deserves some uh, uh, um, um, a coach of the year, and he might win it. I mean, it's going to be hard. I mean, uh, uh, you look at they still have an outside chance of getting home field throughout the playoffs. I think that would go a long way. <laughs> Marvin, hey, Marvin said, Ocho, you lying. He said, you don't want no smoke. Beat the brakes on Herman Moore. I, yeah, Herman, uh, uh, you're younger Herm. than me. Hey, remember jo Johnny Morton? Yeah, Johnny Morton, yeah. They had uh, 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 Brian, uh, uh, no, uh, what's the guy's name? Oh, man. Perriman, Brett Perriman. Oh, Brett Perriman, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Marvin said, Ocho, you don't want no smoke. You don't man, want no smoke. Man, listen, man, Marvin don't want to do that with me, man. Listen, I give I give Marvin five, 10 meter head start and come get him. Like, hey, what, like a mile? That. No, and what? No, in, in the sixty, in the sixty, uh, in the sixty out of hundred. Mm -mm. Them guys get out too good, Ocho. Uh, dude, you, I you told, ain't spot nothing. I told you none of them get out the way I get out. Ocho, check this I out. I told you none of them get out. I do block work with these boys. Listen okay. to me, huh? Yeah, I do block work with them. They Ocho. they come to me. They ask me, boy, how you transition like that out the blocks? Ocho, and I, I'm, I tell them. Ocho, check this out. What's up? What's that? The top guys. Won't give any of the other guys a five meter head start, right? And nothing, right. a five yard head start, and nothing. So what that, that tell you about me? If I'm that's how close, that's how cl that's how close it is. Because a, a tenth of a second. Yeah. <laughs> that, uh -uh. That's, how, that's, what, that's what I'm trying to get you to realize. I'm Ocho, willing to give him before, a five before meter. I, that's that's how oh, good I oh, am. Oh my boy, Low Brown. Somebody put you the uh, my boy, Low Brown. Low Brown was a left tackle. Uh uh uh. For the uh, Lom for Lomas, the Lomas Brown, yeah, yeah, Lom I, know, I know Lomas. <laughs> uh, man, Wilson, Unc, I just ordered my third bottle of shade. Absolutely love it. Can I get a discount code? You know what? We're gonna put one in there. We're gonna third, get you a discount. Third bottle. Code. He third drunk. is good like that. I ain't gonna lie to you, Ocho. I wouldn't lie. All right. Well, when we hit them, when we hit that million subs, I'm gonna take me a drink. Matter of fact, I'm gonna drink the whole bottle too. Nah, don't do that. Straight to the head. No, nah, don't do that, Ocho. Baby. Baby, baby, she, she said she's sleep. sleep. Baby. Uh, Chris from Vegas, Uncle Ocho, I'm about to turn 40 for the first time in my life. Well, I hope so. Hell, I don't know anybody else to turn 40 twice, <laughs> but okay, I get what you're going. <laughs> I started, I started to stare at my mortality in the face. Any advice, bro? You 40. Wait, if you, said, are you, if you in 90. Vegas, if you in Vegas, hit the bunny ranch. Bro, you 40. You know something we don't know? 40. Hey, if you live in Vegas, hey, go, um, like, do do stuff you've never done before, like like I did. Like, I went to Vegas and I tried out for the Chippendales. Hey. Do some, do some fun <laughs> stuff. You know, I think about doing something I ain't never done, but it don't involve no toes. That for sure. <laughs> I don't know. I might do something, you know. Might do something or do something. I like I that. I got plenty of time. Yeah, but uh, uh, Chris, you only be talking like that, bro. You you forty years old. I mean, and you talk about staring mortality, mortality. Listen, man, you hit forty, man. That big forty, you got to do stuff you never done before. You in Vegas too, boy, I, boy. What do you me mean started. forty? I was doing that at 25, 30. Hell, I ain't wait till I'm forty. You right? But well, he maybe he living different. Maybe he living different. Yeah. He, he taking life slow. I was a. Hey, <laughs> I already told you, Ocho. Good times. My granny used to say all the time, good times ain't gonna hold that boy nothing. She right. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, you only live once. Do it right. Yeah. That's all you should want. Well, you know what? You need to start doing it right. Oh, I don't it. I can't do it wrong. I don't know how to do it wrong. Yeah, well, well shit, if you if you ain't if you ain't sucking no toes and looking, oh, yeah, man. Oh, well, I'm know. doing it. Yeah. See, there you go. You doing too much. I'm I'm, I'm just saying. You, you better put some, you better put some oxtail gravy on it. <laughs> you won't be. Nah, you won't you don't, be. You don't need all that. All you need is some whipped cream from behind mm -hmm. and some toes. See, long as you fine. Nah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm you, you heard me right. All you need is some whipped cream for behind and some toes. If she fine, that's it. You don't need nothing else. Let's start there. I need something else. I what? might need to drink that whole bottle. Or what? But they're behind me. <laughs> Eric Listen. Hall says, 
Hulk, I'm upset with you. You only call out certain day, certain day ones. I've been rocking with you since CBS. I'm a truck driver. Eric, I appreciate that, bro. You know what? If I'm not mistaken, I think I used to follow me. I think I responded to you a couple of times on Twitter. I'm almost certain because this name sounds very familiar and the way it's spelled. I'm almost certain I responded <laughs> to you, Eric. So I appreciate the support. And you, that goes back because I started at CBS in 2004. So if you've been rocking with Unc way back then, man, I greatly, greatly appreciate that. What else we got, Ash? What you got, Ocho? Anything else? We, hold on. Before you go, hold before you go. Please make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're now, let's see where we are. 568, right, Ash? Let, let's sing a song anyway. No, 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 no. You do realize that's copyright infringement. No, no, we're not doing that. Well, let's sing my song. How many? Okay. We're 30 away from 569,000 subs. I was hoping we could get to 570 before we got up here. So we're going to stay on just a little while longer, hopefully. Hey, tell your friends, tell your wife, your mom, any friends, any cousins, any uh, co-workers, go hit that subscribe button. And jump on here with a uh, 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 Unc and Ocho nightcap, Unc and Ocho. Please make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you. You can uh, subscribe to the feed through the nightcap, nightcap feed or the Club Shay Shay feed. Either one is fine, but the nightcap, we do have our own podcast feed. We've also pinned the link by Laporte, uh, Shay by Laportier at the top of the chat. Holiday, New Year's, Valentine's Day, President's Day, St. Patrick's Day, right around the corner. You can go get your bottle for you or someone that you love. Uh, okay, we're at 569 now. For a recap, the Browns beat the Jets 37-20. Um, really wasn't that close of a game. We discussed Russell Wilson getting benched. Seemed like the Broncos are ready to move on. Uh, and they uh, bench Russell to make sure he doesn't get hurt. And they're not on the hook for any more money. Uh, the Packers suspend Jahir Alexander for doing something what they deem conduct detrimental to the team. Uh, what else we got, Ocho? Lamar says he's not taking the bait, that the Braves are underdog, and they're going to approach it like that for the rest hey, of the season. That's going to be a very good game. I, I oh, don't, we, 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 didn't we didn't touch on that enough. That's going to be a very good game. And as good as the Dolphins' offense is, as good as the as, same thing we thought about uh, Mike Florio was he said – Oh, the 49ers are going to kick the 40. I mean, the 49ers are going to kick the Ravens. the Ravens. You know what? Yes. Well, you saw what happened, right? Mm -hmm. You saw what happened? You were talking Man. about don't do nothing. You got to play these games. Yeah, you, hey, they, Tua, Tua is going to have to play outstanding football. Well, outstanding. The last time, the last time uh, they played two or three for 447, they mm. came from behind by 14. I think Tyreek right. had a miles today. Jalen Waddle had a mm. miles today. They played a lot of man coverage. Yeah. What's them? Them the uh, them the bun them the bunny rabbits. Am I right? Maybe. I don't I don't know. I don't I don't wear them. I don't I don't wear Jordans. For a nominal fee, I'll sell them to you, Ocho. I don't wear them. I let me show you. Let me show you what kind of shoes you need to wear. Hold on. Oh. Oh, they got the thing in the tongue. They they made 2059 pair. This is number four. I this is my first time seeing this. This is a 457. Oh man, that's those uh that's those uh those stand by the grill, three thousand. That's those uh, <laughs> that's those that's those grilling three thousands. <laughs> and these my little these my little toga slides. These my little toga slides. You gotta get you some of these. Man, you wanna wear these? You wanna wear these? Oh, Ocho, what you got them? I mean, they, hold on. They, 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 they don't have a, a. They got a buckle, right? And they slide. Yeah, these my little slide, my little toga slide. Like when I, like when, when I want to be fashionable. You don't like these? No. Nah. I sure hope you got some Vaseline for those heels. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know my listen. I I get a pedicure, manicure every every Friday. Don't do that. Yeah, that's the ooh. That's Every it. Friday, you know, I don't listen. I I can't be the way I'm about uh, a woman's upkeep and maintenance when it comes to her, her hands and feet, and don't have mine together. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd be yeah. on point. That's those that's those grilling that's those grilling three thousand those fours. 
I so get thank you. you. You want a pair? Huh? I no, I'm good. Pair. I'm a hold off. I'm a hold off. You're, I'm a hold 13, off. 13, right? Nah, I'm a hold off. I'm a hold. I'm a hold off on those. I'm a hold off on those for the time being, Ocho. But I, oh, yeah, I really that's appreciate fashion, that. Man. That's fair. You can wear them on first date. Oh no, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so again, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're now officially at five hundred and sixty-eight thousand. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the Nightcap podcast feed. You can get it also in the club Shay Shay. But Nightcap, we do have our own personal podcast feed. So thank you for subscribing. Um, we've also pinned Shea by Laporte at the top. You can go out and get yourself a bottle or someone a bottle that you love for Valentine's Day. You got New Year's, President's Day, and St. Patrick's. So I uh, greatly appreciate the support. We greatly appreciate the support that you've given up over a very short period of time. Um, we're the number one, uh, Nightcap is the number one basketball podcast on Apple, and we're the number two sports podcast, Apple and Spotify. Nightcap Unc and Ocho. So that's all because of you guys, whether you subscribe, you download it, or you watch us. We're great, we greatly appreciate the support that you've given us in a very, very short period of time. I thank you for the support that you've given me with Club Shay Shay for three years that we've had that page up. But I promise you, next Wednesday, I got a banger coming. I got a banger coming. And I'm telling you right now, I promise you, you're gonna listen. And you're going to listen, and you're going to listen. I got a banger coming. Banger. I'm coming out the gate in 20. Listen, I promise you, and I don't like to make promises because promises like pie crust and thin and easily bro broken. Oh, yeah. My fir the first month, mm -hmm. I'm committed to giving y'all nothing but heat. Now, listen to me now. Listen. Ocho, what I tell him? If I tell you a duck smoke cigarettes, Check his wing. He got yeah. a pack up under there. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm telling you, next Wednesday, I'm coming. I'm coming. I got somebody that y'all want to hear. And he went, listen, I had to rap it, Ocho. Mm -hmm. I had to rap him. We went about two and a half hours. I rapped it. I had a, I, I rapped it. He ain't even let, he started. He started. Right. He went 30 minutes before I could even ask him a question. <laughs> he coming. I'm coming. Right. The whole month of January, I'm coming. So tune in. I promise you, you won't, you will not want to miss Club Shay Shay next week and beyond. I promise you that. So thank you for joining us, Nightcap. I'm your favorite sports up, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85, route runner extraordinaire, Bengals legend, ring of famer, Chad, Ocho, Cinco, Johnson. We'll see you Saturday. Thank you.